Hello, everyone, and welcome to All Games, No Masters, uh, the GMless branch of the Exploration Society. So welcome, all of our explorers, to tonight's show. Um, today, we're going to be playing Max Isaacson's pick, Goblin Quest, which promises to be, well, sillier than I think even I can describe. Um, I can tell you right now, this cast is full of beans and ready to go. So, uh, first, before we talk about all of our goals and things like that, let's go around the horn real fast and give a quick shout about who we all are. You can start uh, over here with Amanda. Hello, uh, I am Amanda Powers, and I am very excited to be Five Goblins today. <laughs> uh, followed by Randy. Hello, my name is Randy, and I will be playing the Goblins of the Scrackled Darf. We clutch. <laughs> Yeah. And then we have our facilitator for the day, Max. Hey, everybody. I'm Max. I'm so happy to bring you all of this chaos and death and laughter and joy today. And of course, you know me. I'm Aki. Uh, here at Saving Thursday Show, we are aiming for $250 per episode or 15 new subs and Patreon pledges. Uh, hitting $250 allows us to pay this amazing cast. And look at them. Are they not beautiful? Do you not want to play these awesome performers for the work they do? Uh, and that helps to keep content like this on the air. Even if you can't afford to back us, Please spread the word and share the stream with friends and family. You're not only helping us, you're helping all the indie game designers we feature too. We love putting indie games on blast so that you can pick them up and play them too. So if you want to support those games, you should definitely support us as well. Um, also, you have the ability to, you know, send us messages, uh, say hello to us, you know, bully us a little bit, be nice. Be nice when you bully us, please. You know, we're, we're, we're sensitive, we're sensitive performers. You know, we have these things called feelings. I feel like, like a real deep down. Okay, anyways, $15, 1500 bits or five gift subs will allow you to send us a message, which we will read here live on air. Um, and then we are also proudly sponsored by Roll, in part by Roll20 and Die Hard Dice. Uh, so make sure to give our sponsors a look. Uh, and I would be remiss if I didn't tell you that you can save 10% on Die Hard Dice by using the code Saving Third Show at checkout. Use exclamation point D H D I C E D H Dice exclamation point D H Dice in chat for links and info. And you can order our friend Critical Bard's dice set and get your 10% off. So you're like double dipping in that helping the friends thing. And we all love Critical Bard. He's awesome. We definitely want to make sure we support him as well. And for everybody who is watching us on YouTube, thank you so much for your support. Make sure you submit, uh, leave a comment, like our stuff, ring the bell so that you can get notified anytime something gets uploaded. Make sure you don't miss anything. Um, and then, you know, doing that really helps uh, the show and the channel as a whole. And lastly, please consider joining the Exploration Society Patreon now and be part uh, of our, you know, family. Uh, your support comes with many rewards like special pins. I know y'all like pins. Uh, so, uh, merch discount swag, one page adventures that are written by the crew of Saving Throw Show and a lot more. So definitely be part of the society. society. <laughs> and join up today. Um, we also have a very special goal today. Um, Goblin Quest is a game that is incredibly collaborative and also has a high mortality rate. <laughs> but you can help us by unlocking uh, a group of rerolls. Uh, so $75 donated in chat will help us to uh, unlock rerolls for the table. That would be four rerolls that we can all use to potentially save one of our goblins' lives. Like, not... and there may be more uh, uh, tiers added depending on on the flow of the game and what we oh, decide God, makes up. sense. Like, I mean, I, you could roll we'll again add... to be yeah, worse. We could, yeah, we could roll. Yeah, again you to be could worse. make it. Yeah. Yeah, we could like. Maybe we'll add like rerolls that are specifically meant. Like maybe we can add another batch of rerolls depending on how things go. Maybe maybe we get an extra goblin. I don't know. Maybe there's well, let's so find many, out. 
let you have to hit that first goal for us to decide what that second goal is going to be. So if you're interested in seeing the game get even funkier, you should uh, definitely consider helping us get that goal. We want those rerolls. Please help us get the rerolls because maybe we could do worse. Maybe it's possible to be even worse. Oh. So I hope so. Yeah. Always possible. <laughs> that all being said, uh, I am going to turn it over to our lovely facilitator who's going to tell us all about Goblin Quest. Hey, everybody. Um, welcome to Goblin Quest. Goblin Quest is a collaborative RPG in which each of us plays a, um, a number of goblins uh, who will all be going on an adventure together and slowly be dying as we try to um, achieve our goals. Uh, and as we die, we will be replaced with more goblins from our spawning pools to continue on our good works. Um, that's sort of the long and short of the game. Uh, it's It's got a simple kind of premise to it. It's pretty structured. It's kind of a wonderful thing to say like, hey, you got a thing you got to go do. Let's figure out how to do it. And you're going to die a bunch on the way. A few rules about Goblin Quest. One, do dumb voices. It's in the rule book. I'm not kidding. We got to do dumb voices. It's a rule. Two, uh, part of this is about collaborative storytelling. So what we're going to do here is cook up a goal that we all want. We'll kind of mangle it all together into something that works. We'll break it down into stages. Um, and then we'll set goals for those stages. And then we're off to the races, as it were. Um, the first thing every player has to do is cook up their clutch of goblins. Uh, a clutch of goblins is a group of goblins who were spawned out from these disgusting pits. Uh, all around the same time, and thus have similar traits to each other. So, uh, for those of you who have the book at home, congratulations, you've bought Goblin Quest. You're very smart and handsome, and everyone wants to be around you. Uh, and for those of you who haven't, you could be just as smart and handsome as those who have. Just think about it. You want to know uh, who's really smart and handsome? Guess I'm who? Salad, who just gifted five subs in chat. So thank you, Guess I'm oh, Salad. Oh, Guess thank I'm you. Salad. You looked so nice. Um, <laughs> anyway... We all have our clutches. I believe we've all done a little bit of work putting them together. So I would like everybody to introduce their clutches of goblins, tell us a little bit about themselves, and then we'll get towards building our story. Um, how about we start with Aki? You never get to start stuff off. You always have oh to goodness. introduce everyone else. Why don't you start for us? All right. So um, <laughs> I'm laughing because this is absolutely ridiculous. So I was thinking about my clutch and I realized there were five. And so something kind of uh, like, an, like an invasive thought kind of poked into my brain. What if you do a riff on Sailor Scouts? And so I... I have a clutch of goblins who all go by the honorific semen. And <laughs> sure. Instead of sailor. And their names are, totally. do I introduce all of them by their names or just the first one? Okay. Uh, so their names are Luna. Just the first, yeah, the first, first one. The first one is named Luna. Uh, Luna yeah, yeah. has long, thin, white hair, you know, they think it looks really luxurious, but it's kind of not. They wish it was, but not exactly. Um, they have an expertise in transformations, i.e. disguise. Um, they have a mole uh, that keeps changing positions on their face. You look away when you turn around again, the mole's somewhere else. Um, and they have a dream to be crowned leader. They, they have aspirations to leadership. Um, they also have an ancestral heirloom, uh, which I think I might hold on to for now. I might not talk about that just yet, if that's okay. Totally I might fine. reveal that in the story. That sounds excellent. So one thing I, I did forget to point out, every clutch has a few things that they hold in common. They have an honorific, um, which I, <laughs> did you say it's a semen? Like as an S-E-A, M-E-N, yeah. like, you know, 
because like the a naval, uh, yeah. like naval so, costumes. Yeah. No, it's a, I get it. It's a nice, normal, respectable name that you've given them. Uh -huh. um, they all yeah. have an expertise, uh, and they all have a quirk, and they all have a dream, and they all have an ancestral heirloom. So that they share. And then each individual goblin has a, has some funny defining features that make them unique and special in their own way. Um, but. Listen, Just I so gotta get knows. my entertainment somewhere, and if it's not in the honorific <laughs> I've given my my goblins, then I don't know where I could possibly look. I mean, it's the best place that I can imagine. Uh, on to how about Randy? You're up oh. next. Tell us about your clutch of goblins. All right. So my clutch of goblins are the Scraggle Dwarfs. Uh, right. Just because I was like, that's a weird way name, uh, and I liked it. Uh, and so their clutch expertise is, uh, pyrotechnics. Sounds really cool until you realize that they just like setting things on fire. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Both of those sound cool to me, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, their quirk as a clan is, uh, they like to bite a lot of things, and because of that, they lose their canines, and so they replace them with rocks. And so they have rocks that are kind of like vampire teeth kind of hanging out, but just rocks. Uh, and then their dream is to go out in a blaze of glory, whatever that may mean. <laughs> and then uh, their ancestral heirloom is the magical stone of weeping. And that's all I'm going to say there. Okay. I feel like we should explain to people that we can say the word magical all we want. It that does mean nothing. nothing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Randy, what's the first name of your first? Oh, oh, yes, right. Tell us right. who your first goblin is. So my first goblin, I'm trying to do it so that you can't see the others. You might, let me see. There we go. Oh, His yes. name is Sidey. Sidey. Yeah. All of them have an I at the end of their names. Sidey, he wears a patch. Uh, that is his defining feature. He is adorable, and I love him. Uh, Amanda, introduce us to your clutch of goblins. Yes. So my uh, uh, way of dealing with this was legitimately just to put down the first thing that I thought of. That was my process here. Just don't overthink it. Just, like, put it down. Um, so my uh, clutches, or my clutch, uh, they're honorific. Uh, they're the fart noodles. Um, yeah. we can discuss why that's the first thing I thought of later, but for now it's just, just let's just accept it. Um, they have an expertise in eavesdropping. Um, they nosy. Um, their quirk is that they have an extra finger on each hand. Um, mm -hmm. thumb or pinky, it's kind of luck of the draw. I don't know. Um, <laughs> their, their Gross. dream, their dream is to be considered classy. <laughs> They're just, yeah, high aspirations there. Um, and I will also, I'll just save the ancestral heirloom as well. But um, my first goblin, his, uh, well, there, their name is Herkel. Uh, Herkel Fart Noodle. <laughs> Sorry, fuck, <laughs> this is going to be hard. <laughs> um, and they have giant feet. We're not getting anywhere. This I also want to point out really fast that it explicitly uh, says, in uh in the rule book that the goblins have no gender unless they have a gender which is really cool that it is says dope. it's like goblins don't have a gender unless they do so yeah it's pretty freaking cool hey I we're just it. an army of envies running around fucking shit yes, up a fucking lot. right mm -hmm. i mean we will do crimes so this is filling into a do pretty crimes. solid yes. place um all right my turn my clutch Oh, yes. Um, my goblins uh, honorific is that they are the pliable. Uh, their expertise is bending before breaking. Uh, their quirk is an eerie lack of wrinkles. <laughs> Think like smooth Yoda. <laughs> no! It's disgusting no! how smooth ah, they all are. <laughs> like when they it. smile, when they blink. Nothing happens. It's just you get more teeth or maybe some eyes that shut. So... It's disgusting. No. Uh, their dream is to taste greatness, whatever you think that might mean. 
<laughs> and I'll give you what their ancestral heirloom is. It's the bean can of finger cutting. Ooh. And, uh, <laughs> it is a it is a blood soaked open bean can. <laughs> I think I'll give uh, people at least the name of my thing, and it's the scepter of peacemaking. Okay. Mm. The incredibly lucky hat. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, it's probably okay as hey. rating. Hello. Hi, Jason. Thanks and so Lisa. much for the raid. We're naming goblins. What's the name Yay. of your goblin, Max? The oh, my, my first goblin's name is Binko. Binko. Binko the Pliable. And his defining feature are that his eyes are too far apart. <laughs> That's not at all creepy. No, he's weird looking. Um, he's also got a little hat. Okay, let's do a little serious talk. Oh, one order oh, of business because we have a toast already <gasps> at the top of the episode from Guess I'm Salad, uh, who says, I guess those gift subs came in clutch. Hey. Oh, wow. I love hey. it. Going. Yay. Boink. Run it up. Nice. I don't know why I decided boink was the sound that it makes when you clink glasses together. Uh, because well, I mean, goblins. If it's plastic, because goblins. If it's plastic oh yeah, this I is plastic, boink. so boink. Boink seems right. Can't trust us, we're out here with rubber cups. Uh, <laughs> all right, serious goblin business. A few things, we exist in a fantasy world. We can make up all sorts of stuff, but they give us a few little hints and, and helpful uh, bits of advice. There are wizards in this world. Those wizards, they might slightly be eldritch creatures. They might just be old people in funny suits. Who knows? It's up to us. There are hobgoblins. Hobgoblins are good at business and doing math. They're kind of serious and a little stuffy. Maybe kind of type A. Everyone's got a cousin like a hobgoblin. There are orcs. Orcs are big, dumb, brutish. They love murder. They can pick stuff up. And they're tall. Nobody has a cousin like an orc. There are bugbears. I read the part on bugbears, but I've forgotten it. So they're whatever you want them to be. They're like mean. They're like they're like <laughs> mean street thugs, kind of. That's kind Ooh. of. They're like. Arr, I'm going like to find bent a, over. I'm going to find a hug bear. All bugbears <laughs> could become hugbears. For the hugbear inclined. Um, <laughs> yes. So yeah, all right. They're thuggish and mean. I love it. I love what a bugbear is. Um, maybe we can give them a baseball bat or something. Yeah, it's like they're henchmen. That's what I got. That's the they're vibe henchies. I got is that they're like henchmen-y. There you go. From from her mouth to the, to the god's table. ears, whatever. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The, <laughs> <laughs> the thread here, gang. Okay. okay. So we're gonna cook up a story. Let's all say some goals. Everyone pick one thing that you would like to have happen or you would like to accomplish uh, in this game. And I'm going to start writing some stuff down and we will um, we will see where we get with it all. Um, I want them to, uh, for some reason, have to catch an enchanted chicken that has gotten loose. <gasps> mm -hmm. I like this. This is nice. Okay. Have to catch an enchanted chicken on the loose. Like maybe for okay. the Goblin King? I don't know. For something. For some uh, reason. We can so, up why. She... I have something as well. I, w uh, I want our goblins to attend the ball. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep. This yep, is yep, correct yep. and okay. good. Aki, any ideas on, them... on goblin-y type? I want um... them to make... A charcuterie board. <laughs> <laughs> this game is already just so good. And charcu charcuterie board. Good enough. <laughs> Definitely spelled this wrong. It's Maybe pretty much like e it out. sounds. Nope, that's it. You got it right. That's how it's spelled. Yeah. I did it. Hey, kids. College education finally oh, paying I off. Um, I, once again, have not thought about this. Um, okay. I think uh, if we're going to make a charcuterie board, attend the ball, to <laughs> chicken on the loose, I think it's um, become, uh, and how about I'm going to enter into society. I think I'm seeing a theme here. Um, so we're, With the chicken in there? How? 
That, well, the chicken is the is the key to this whole operation. The chicken is how we get an invitation to the. Okay. The, the, the chicken is how we get the invitation to the ball. <laughs> <laughs> and we make the charcuterie board out of the enchant. No, that's not. We're, no, we can't. Do we that. could. Well, they're probably um, not supposed to bring it just so it can be. It's magic. Well, it could be a not magic just, maybe charcuterie. It, yeah, board. it could make magic charcuterie. It's like you know, you smoke you smoke some chicken meat and like lay it out alongside some like yummy yummy other uh, uh, accoutrement and like who knows. Yeah. Okay. Right. We so could, what was your I thing, mean, Max? Well, so I feel like attending the ball and entering into society are well, like our sort of end game items, right? Like if we're like, okay, if we here, I'm going to pitch you a narrative and you tell me what you think of this. We can obviously iterate as we go here, but if in order to attend the ball and enter into society, we have to get an invitation or a way to get in. So we have to making the charcuterie board means that we can get in either with the caterers or there's like an entrance fee, you know, to have some kind of a gift. Like it's a, I don't know what kind of society potlucks are going on, but something like that. Um, <laughs> and then in order to make the charcuterie board, we need the most amazing charcuterie board in the world. And so we have to catch this enchanted chicken who is on the loose in order to get that done, because it will obviously, if it's a magic chicken, be more impressive of a charcuterie board than say your standard bog chicken um this is what comes to my mind immediately and quickly it has no weight in the world i have one one suggested tweak i guess yeah. is that like usually we have to get somebody to like give us an invitation or like mm -hmm. or like maybe forge us an invitation or something like that but what if like in, oh i guess because that leaves the charcuterie board i was gonna say what if it was like before they would do that, you had to catch their enchanted chicken that got loose. Okay. Um, <laughs> they were like, all right, I'll do you, you know, you scratch your my back, I'll scratch yours, find my enchanted chicken. This is good though. Maybe <laughs> that person who's gonna give us the invite requires charcuterie as payment. That it's not about bringing charcuterie to the party, but <laughs> There's some person who's like, I've got an invite, but I've also got a hankering for magic charcuterie. Yeah. Okay, like so you have it. to catch it for them so they can eat it. And yeah. Okay. What do we think of that? Is that does that feel like a vibe? Yeah, I think it feels so. like a whole yeah. vibe. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna set down. We have three quests. Um, I'm gonna say quest one. Mm -hmm. Learn how to use roll twenty. You ding dong. There we go. Um, <laughs> Be nice to my friend. That sounds wrong. <laughs> Quest one is... Uh, oh, right. Here we go. Um, catch have to catch an enchanted chicken on the... <laughs> All right, whatever. This is just going to live wherever it's going to live. Okay. Have to catch an enchanted chicken on the loose. Number two, attend the ball. <laughs> None of them want to live on the line. No, they don't. <laughs> they're very, they're chaotic. Well, I mean, this is the right game. Quest three, enter into society. In order to, oh no, I guess uh, we'll sort of put, make a charcuterie board and, and the enchanted chicken together. So I'm gonna, here's what I'm going to do. Kitchen, the chicken and charcuterie. Yeah. Let's put an enter in here. Break this puppy down. Boink. Good enough for Max. Uh, Okie dokie. Great. So we have our goals. Now, next step here. Let's start talking about what it's going to take to get these things done. Each quest, each task in our great overarching quest has three stages. This is how Goblin Quest works. There are three things we have to get done before we can say we accomplished our task. So in order to catch an enchanted chicken and make charcuterie out of it to get our ticket to the ball, um, what are the three things we think are necessary steps to make that happen? Randy, I, can, I see your hand and I'm excited uh, to hear what yeah, you have to say. No, we have to steal someone's uh, like recipe book in town. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, uh, then we have to uh, we have to 
lay either we have to like lay a trap for the chicken, right? You know it. Lay a trap for. Uh, then we have to. Hmm. I mean, we have to like prepare the board, obviously. <laughs> Crack, crack um, the egg into the bowl. But yeah, learn, learn, <laughs> right. learn how to make a, an artisanal charcuterie board. Make charcuterie board. Artisanal board. What? Learn how to spell you. Goof artisanal board. There we go. Obviously done this wrong, but good enough. Uh, Artisanal? Yes. That looks gross, but okay. Um, and maybe I found out something important. Boink. No. <laughs> I mean, almost. Max. Almost. It was almost there. Getting there. Yeah. Okay. Believe <laughs> I believe in us. Okay. So, task one. Catch an enchanted chicken. Make charcuterie. Stage one. Steal a recipe book. Stage two, lay trap for chicken. <laughs> Stage three, learn to make artisanal board. This seems incredibly no, doable, folks. I right, think do we got any of us know how to read? No? Great. Who knows? <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> We're going to find out. Death will happen. Um, okay. Task two, attend the ball. Uh, we, in theory, by the time we've made our artisanal board, have a ticket or something. Some manner of, of getting in, but... I'm sure there will be many, many people and systems in place to prevent us from doing such a thing. So, what are our thoughts there, gang? Well, I mean, you have to find something to wear. So, oh my god, amazing! Like, <laughs> what? I don't know if it's like learn to sew so that you can make your 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 outfits or or uh, steal them from people. Or just putting outfits. find an outfit. Or we're find going outfit. as one person to the ball. Four goblins in a trench coat. Let's go. Okay. Trench coat is not appropriate for a ball, right, Aki. Right. But we we'll learn. We have to learn about it. <laughs> Find an outfit. One outfit. Find an outfit. Uh, we have to learn to dance. <gasps> oh, oh yes. Yes. That's, oh, tight. that's, yes, that's great. This game rules. <laughs> We're not even playing yet. Okay. Oh. Dope. Okay, learn nope. to dance. Um. And last, we have to figure out how to get there, right? We have to like have transportation. Ooh, transportation to the ball. Yep, totally. Okay, um, let's. Can I gussy that up a little bit and of just course. say um, get a? How about horse-drawn carriage? <laughs> <laughs> or get fancy transpo. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Get we gotta, fancy. We gotta go in style. Yeah, we must go in style. We are important goblins. Um, hold on. If I enlarge this, does it make... No. Nope. Hey, you. What are you doing? It sort of makes these... I don't know how visible this is for everybody on the internet. But it's easier for Max, who is slowly going blind due to an ancient curse. Um, all right. <laughs> uh, attend the ball is handled. Let's enter into society, gang. What does that mean, though? That's the thing. <laughs> We must present ourselves so, before the king. Entered into society. <laughs> we have to find. We have to figure out who the king is first. Who's the king? Who's in charge here? Oh right. Yeah, because we don't we know. figure out who is in charge. Very much so. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Figure out who's in charge. Uh, uh, show uh, off. Show off your ex. That your excellent manners that you've learned. <laughs> Whatever yes. that means. Show off we are we are cotillion goblins. Excellent manners. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, and stage three, I would say... Um... Profit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. Okay, let's see. We've, we've found who's in charge. We've shown off our excellent manners. Um, you know, I think if you're truly going to enter into society... You have to uh, attain us. You have to have a suitor. Somebody has to be courting you. Oh. And I think if we <laughs> oh, have. Oh, secure the yeah. hand of the king. Find a or suitor. Queen, whoever it is. 
Find a suitor. I love it. Find a suitor. Yeah, I think that's going to be where we nice find fancy a suitor. suitor. It's all of a sudden become right. Bridgerton up in here. Oh, this yeah. is look. Goblin, Goblin Bridgerton. Go Goblinton is happening, and it's going to be great. <laughs> we are the oh ton, the Goblinton. <laughs> this is going to be so so dreamy. Oh, just wait. It's going to get. It's about to get better, Max. I am. Look, considering where we're at already, I'm so pleased. <laughs> um, okay, gang. So, quick things to learn about Goblin Quest. Uh, each of these, uh, what are they, tasks? Each of these large tasks has a difficulty rating. The way the game works is the difficulty rating, it, it gets harder and harder as we go. Uh, task one is the number of players, minus one. Task two is the number of players. Task three is the number of players, plus one. Um, difficulty ratings are essentially the hit points of the thing you're trying to do. Um, so there's four of us. Let's take a look. Task one, stage one, steel recipe book. It would have th a difficulty rating of three. That means if we roll three victories as we move through our turns, we have completed that task. We can, there, that piece of the task, and we can move on to the next one. So you're constantly trying to chip away at what you're doing by rolling victories. Uh, Just obviously, to remind there are many people, failures, we, we do oh. have a goal. If you want to help us get re-rolls so that we can do either better or worse at any of these rolls, it's seventy-five dollars. That's our goal in order to unlock re-rolls for the table. I promise you, we will need those because there are a lot of ways to die in this game. Uh, on the one side, roll victories. Yay, get stuff done. If you roll low numbers, uh-oh, your goblins get hurt. Goblins have two hit points, only two hit points. If they get hurt twice, they die. There's no getting around that. Uh, in the middle, you can adjust rolls. So like if you roll, I think, a four or a five, uh, the next person to roll gets a plus one on their rolls. If you roll a two or a three, the next person to roll uh, gets a minus one because either good things happened or bad things happened. That's essentially the mechanic of the game. But can, you can roll an extra die, right? Oh, you can roll like a billion extra dice. So oh, I thought it was just one extra if you could justify no. that your one of your things helped. You can stack them, baby. Oh, so snap. The reason that we have honorifics for our clutch, expertises for our clutch, quirks for our clutch, dreams for our clutch, and ancestral heirlooms for our clutch is because any of those can be applied to our roles. Anytime you can apply one of those to your role, if you're like, I want to do it this way, that makes sense for me, add a die. Here's the thing about that, though, right? Let's say you're like, oh, I can add three things to my dice. Great, now you're rolling five dice. That's super cool for you. That definitely might get you a victory. It also might kill your goblin at the same time. You don't get to reroll one die if you get a reroll. You got to reroll them all. So you're all in or you're all out. So everyone... All of you lovely scamps out there, be wary with your die rolls. Don't get, and, and, don't get ahead of yourself. Just so I can make sure I understand, like, if I roll five dice and I get, uh, whatever, like, a certain number of successes, but I still get two outs, right? Mm -hmm. I still die. I can be a success and die. Yeah, oh, for sure. In fact, your death, I can only hope led to glorious success. Yeah. Uh... You know, it's all in one. You die, and we succeed at the same time. <laughs> Match made in heaven. <laughs> Could couldn't ask for more. <laughs> um, okay, one other little hurdle in our way. Every task has a uh, what is it called? A misfortune. Um, misfortunes are things that make it harder to get stuff done. Um, so, what we do is we roll for misfortunes. Now, here's what I would like you crazy kids to do. Uh, Randy, Aki, and Amanda. Yes. I want each of you to roll one die, one D6. And uh, Randy, you're going to be task one. Aki, you'll be task two. Amanda, you're task three. OK. All right. Tell me um, what you rolled. I rolled a three for task. Okay. One. I rolled a six. So that's a 
you rolled a three. Threes mean, I think, things that happen in round two. Round two. Amanda, you were round three, I think, right? You rolled a six. Yeah, I rolled a That's six. That's round three. And Aki, what number did you roll? I rolled a two. You rolled a two, which I also believe is round two. Yes. So I've absolutely flubbed everything. Okay. So I don't want you to roll the rest of this. Here's the thing about misfortunes, team. When a misfortune happens, there is a whole table in this game that you roll for that tells you all sorts of wackety stuff that goes on. It's very exciting. But we can keep a secret. So I think what we're going to do is everybody who I've just assigned to their round, when we get to the misfortune moment, they're going to roll their die, and we're going to see what terrifying misfortune happens. And we will all be surprised, and it's all going to go terribly. The other thing is, misfortunes make rounds harder. So they add half the number of players in difficulty rating. So for task one, round two now has a difficulty rating of five. For task two, round two also has a difficulty rating of five. And for task three, round three, find a suitor. Now, oh no, sorry, difficulty rating of six in task two. And round three, find a suitor, has a difficulty rating of seven. Dif yeah, I know. It's going to be hard to find us a hot bow who is also three. eligible and of marriageable age, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, I believe in us. Shoot. Okay, so yeah, so task three is still five, but the stage three is now seven. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Okay, I didn't realize five, like... Five, seven. Oh, so like every stage we're trying to get five, not five... Mm. total through all the stages. Correct, Amando. Oh, uh, okay. I thought I was wrong about that oh, in yeah. my brain. This place is a flippin' death trap gang. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes. We're that is what happens when you try to join society. Indeed, that is the point. We. Okay. I think we're ready to play, which is yeah. um, exciting and a little titillating, and I'm very into it. Uh, so, here we go. Um, mm. Let's set the stage. Um... Uh, I don't know. Our world is a strange fantasy world. There is a war going on beyond our walls. Obviously not our problem. We're trying to get a date. Uh, <laughs> but uh, let's 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 open it up a little bit here. Um, how about we do a round robin? How about we start with Amanda? You had the last roll. Amanda, tell us just a thing about the world here. You know that it just uh, you know. How does how does society work? Who's around? What's 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 hot? What's what's build me my goblinton? Okay, so you the easy thing, right? You just gave me the easy thing to do. Thanks, Max. Um, oh, don't worry, we all have to do it. Set it's the whole the whole world. Oh my goodness. Okay, one thing. One, oh, just oh, thank goodness. I like I was like, what in the heck? Um, <laughs> uh, uh, they all live in huts that have rounded tops. Great. Our little hutty world. Uh, Aki? Uh, it is always cloudy and gloomy in Goblinton. Mm -hmm. The sun rarely shines here. Mm. Nobody seems to mind. Mm. Round top huts. Always. Let me. You tell me, Goblinton. Yeah, uh, our goblin longs for something more than this provincial, like, gray <laughs> life. <laughs> Hold on. I mean... Oh, wow. Yes! Oh, that yeah, doesn't really okay, describe the place, though. But, no, I mean, like, that, but I think it's, like, it's, like... The life of a goblin is probably really hard, and therefore our goblin's like, no, I don't want to do that. Like, Got it. It's a it's a reaction to against our life here, if that makes sense. Life for goblins is grueling, right? It we do not normally enter society; we are not considered uh, acceptable. So, and we want more. Don't they right. know we are of a fair race? Listen, right for I. I'm a I'm a whole ass meal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so happy about all the choices that have led us here today. 
What, what about you? What, you got to add something uh, to this. Now. Oh, uh, right. Um, let's see. Everybody knows how to dance. <gasps> Not us. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> How did everybody else learn how to dance? What happened to us and why didn't we learn? Is it because we're gobos? Probably. That feels unfair. Okay, great. Welcome to Goblinton team. A world of small round huts where it is gray and overcast and unpleasant every day. And yet nobody seems to care. Where the life of a goblin is grueling and unpleasant and we are tired of it. And everybody knows how to dance, except for us. Hmm. We're probably also tired of that. Hmm. Okay, I'll set the stage. We all emerge from our disgusting spawning pits. Gross and small and strange and covered in goo or whatever. <coughs> and suddenly, <laughs> we are all overcome with certain senses of our dreams and the things that we want. But one thing we've been hearing about is the ball. And let me tell you, we all want to go to that ball. Okay, here's how turns work. Anyone can take the first turn, second turn, third turn, fourth turn, whatever. Everyone gets a turn token, uh, which we don't have a physical representation of, so please try and remember if you've done it. But we each take a turn. We say, I have an idea on a thing I want to do. You put your turn token in. And then until everyone's put their turn token in, you can't go again. That's the only rule. So if anyone has an idea on how to catch an enchanted chicken and make charcuterie, right. Oh, something we should probably know since we have to catch a chicken and make charcuterie. We've heard rumors about, uh, anyone feel free to fill in because I have no idea where I'm going with this. We, <laughs> there is there is an older lady who lives in the village who is well known um uh, for uh being something of a mediator medium between uh the medium to the um the royal family uh is not exactly nobility but uh, is well liked by uh by the pe people in the castle um connected as it were well connected um she has mm -hmm. lots of strange oddities in her home including this enchanted chicken um whom she usually keeps safely ensconced in her backyard but unfortunately it has indeed escaped uh, so mm -hmm. she has put out a wide call to the rest of the the village if anyone can catch my enchanted chicken i will extend them to the an invitation to the ball i do have one other condition I have been having a hankering for charcuterie, and I haven't found anyone who can make really good charcuterie. And so, like, this is kind of like a notice on the, like a board. <laughs> there are mm -hmm. flyers stuck up all around. I feel like the only reason we know about this is at some point one of those those flyers got like yanked off by the wind and kind of floated over to the spawning pits. It's like kind of soggy, and like the waters kind of run through it a bit. So it's a little difficult to make out all the details, but we got we've got the gist. I would say that it's likely that when we were all spawning from our clutches, the notice fell into the spawning pits. Even though we are all illiterate, uh, deeply, deeply illiterate, it has ingrained itself into our heads that this is a thing that matters. <laughs> that like the Why ink has like to... sloughed off and magically gone into our brains. Why do I want to like catch a, a, a an enchanted chicken? Does anybody else have the ideas that they want to go to that ball? <laughs> oh man, I would love to go dancing at a ball. Oh, uh, I want to be really classy. I think I think going to a ball would make me really classy, and that is my dream. Oh, I yeah. think we should find this chicken. And really gutsy ourselves up so much. And oh. then we'll just be the talk of the town. If we can find someone who would take us into their heart, 
perhaps we could then go on to like be somebody of influence and power in this town. Oh. Maybe we could maybe we could go somewhere where we can see the sun. I just want I just want um I just want everyone to look at me and think I look pretty. But also, I have a, a, a urge to want to make charcuterie, you know? What's a charcuterie? I also have this urge, but I don't know what it is. Oh, Neither it's do I. Oh, it's like um it's like a it's like stuff on a plate, I think, or like a uh-huh. Yeah, and and then and then people eat it. Oh, oh it's tasties. <laughs> yeah, I, but I, I I think it's food, but like but like not the food that we eat cuz uh-huh. we don't really we don't need to eat, you know? We should probably try to find a rest book. A book. Oh, a what? A rest book, a rest a, re- a recipe, no. a recipe. What's a book? A, I, I don't know. For some reason, I I there I keep feeling that like a book would be helpful. Oh. How do, how do we know, okay, does anybody know what a book is? I have because no idea. We could um, ask someone if they can tell us what a book is. Oh, um, but all I see is goblins. I don't think any of them know what know what a book is either. <laughs> what, what if what if we talk to the to the guy with the pointy hat? The guy who, you know, the, the wizard. What? Oh, um. The are wizard. we off to see the wizard? Oh, we're off to see the wizard. <laughs> and uh, I think um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm gonna use my action token here. Yeah. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is uh, try to. Because the wizard's been, let's say, like raising us all up out of the pits, right? And we're sort of at the pits full of goblins, and the wizard's probably around there, but probably kind of far away. And I think what I'm going to do is try and bounce my way and like sneak my way through the piles of writhing goblins that are coming out of the pits in order to get to the wizard and get his attention. So I think what I'd like to do is use my expertise of bending before breaking um, in order to give this a go. Uh, so normally, uh, if I am not wildly mistaken, mistaken, if I'm not wildly mistaken, uh, you roll two dice uh, normally, and then you can roll an X. I'll roll an extra die for my um, expertise. So let's see how this goes. Oh, just absolutely, I think, as poorly as it possibly <gasps> could have. And this is a great beginning to our game. Okay, I've rolled two ones and a three. Cool. What that means from a purely dice perspective <laughs> <laughs> is that uh, Binko the Pliable has died. Um, very important to <laughs> know. Uh, and also that something bad has happened. When something bad happens, it means that the (laughs) next goblin to roll gets minus one on all of their rolls. So not only has Binko immediately (laughs) died, but also uh, whoever goes after me is doomed. (laughs) But I need Uh, to hear how he died. What happened? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so Binko's like, I got this, and sees the wizard on the other side, and is like, I'm gonna, I, I, I got this. I'm gonna just wiggle my way through, and he's like, starting to do like a sort of, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, and all the other goblins are, they're like half baked, like they're not even done yet. They're just like gooey and glorpusy, oh, no. and they kind of he starts like trying to push them and his hand gets stuck in one and then his hand gets stuck in another and his like leg gets stuck in one and then his leg gets stuck in another and his, he's like trying to like and like push his way through and he's just like all bent and wacky and then they start solidifying and like teeth are growing through his hands and like ribs are growing through his butt and like all these goblins are like starting to happen as he's like in them oh and so they just eventually 
solidify through his whole body and he's just kind of like all over the place stuck in these other guys and uh, as that happens the wizard looks over and sees this and is like oh god and immediately is just like like i can't even look at goblins anymore because this is just so gross can we get an f in chat for binko <laughs> oh no um, Oh, um, I don't know if that was like a record for for shortest goblin life, but I bet it was pretty close. <laughs> that was so <laughs> unfortunate. Um, I feel as though, uh, Mr. Wizard, maybe that'll work better than like you know trying to get Mr. Wizard. Um, uh, Mr. Wizard, sir. Uh, what's a book? <laughs> Wait, time out. Uh, Max, just yes. one thing. I don't want it to, to, to do anything here, but uh, are we playing with the lucky ear mechanic where we do? Uh, right. <laughs> so this game does have a certain <laughs> ingrained mechanic of rerolls, um, which is to say that they, they say there you know, there's many ways to do it in game, uh, but each player, we can lucky ear it, which is that each goblin... And you know what? No, let's not lucky year. Let's find it. There's another rule in here that I like a lot. Um, <clears throat> there are ways to allow each other rerolls. Lucky year is that every goblin has a lucky year and gets to do one reroll once, uh, which is very straightforward. But one that I like a lot is um, is the boss hat, which is if anybody does something cool, you know, or funny, or fun, or just whatever. If you've got the boss hat, you can hand it to them. Or you can just give them the boss hat. You say you got the boss hat. The boss hat you know, allows you a reroll. Yeah. You know who has control of the boss hat right now? Who? You, chat. You have control of the boss hat. If you want us to have rerolls, make sure to toss a donation <laughs> our way so we can unlock rerolls. Obviously, our goblins will be dying very, <laughs> very quickly. This is not going to go well. Right. We haven't even got to the, the book. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Once once the boss hat is unlocked, if we can please give me $75, um, <laughs> then we can do these rerolls. But until then, Binko, yeah, uh, the pliable, <laughs> whose eyes were too far apart, is dead as doornails. <laughs> Poor Binko. And whoever's next is probably about to go, too. Uh Maybe. So, all right. Uh, so what, first, what does the wizard do in response to uh, it, just puking, it, it's just puking his guts but, out? But we also is, like yelled, "Hey, what's the book?" It, 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 it didn't even hear it. Cool. No, can't hear you. All right. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, let's try something else. And he grabs the nearest. Uh, so. Uh, Sidey with his one eyes and an eye patch. How did that get formed in this goblin mush? I don't know. He he's like, watch this, you guys. And he goes and just bites a random goblin. He wants to start like the goblins running away, so then he can walk over to the um uh, the wizard. So deeply reasonable. Three dice. <laughs> this is not good. <gasps> Thank okay, you so, so I got two sixes. Oh, but yeah. But they're minus one, so those are fives. That's that's freaking great. Who cares? <laughs> and I got a fail because now it's a fail. It was a three, but it, it's more of a fail. It's I am injured. <laughs> but one. didn't it say that like if you roll like multiple stuff like that, if you have more good than bad, it it's a good thing still. My understanding is it's still a um. That's only in the middle. Yeah. In the middle of what? Sorry. So um, something good and something bad is uh, when a three or a four is oh, rolled. Oh, okay. So if you roll more fours than threes, uh, or you know, or vice versa, that's the weight. Um, oh. As far as five, six, oh. or one, two is concerned, they 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 just happen. Okay. That's cool. 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 Yeah, I did not get that either. So thank you. Yeah. And so I just bite on him really hard, and just the first like halfly formed goblin just starts screaming and then like knocking things out of the way as he's trying to run uh probably getting into the same situation as Boinko <laughs> as well but like all the goblins that can just start trying to like move out and i'm like excuse me excuse me uh, well. <laughs> 
hey, Mr. Wizard. And I'm like pulling on his little cape. Uh, um, I know you're sick, but uh, a small question. <laughs> uh, Who's the wizard? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, can't you see I'm sick? I'm, uh, yeah, but... Um, Don't touch uh, me, you disgusting creature. Oh, sorry. Um, I, 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 me, me and my friends were wondering, what's a book and how do we make a charcuterie? A what do we book do? book is something you read in order to learn things. Okay. Cool. It has pieces of paper inside with writing on it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Sounds, sounds boring. But um, how do you, what, what, if we wanted to learn to make some food thing, is there uh, a book for that? You mean a recipe book? A recipe book. <laughs> yes. Yes. In order to learn how to cook or prepare food items, you need a recipe book. All right. Uh, I mean, I don't want this for anything. It's just something that I want to know. You know, I'm just a curious little cow, Lindsay's. And then care that you're you don't get let that curiosity get the better of you. <laughs> Why would I do that? As he looks down, there's just like a like half formed goblin like face just like chomped onto <laughs> his arm from when he was running through the the mess. That's the injury he had. Mm -hmm. uh, he's like, <laughs> and he runs back to his friends. He's like, hey guys, um, I found it. <laughs> it's a recipe book. See, I told you it was something like that. Well, well, where is it? We have oh. to. Where is it? I, I, I didn't ask that. We have to find one. You gotta figure out where it is. Whoa, oh, who's this? Ah! <laughs> and like finally formed, but not all the way because everyone ran off and caused some chaos. Is Limpet the pliable, who is notable for having no nose? Limpet. R.I.P. Binko. Welcome, Limpet. <laughs> um. I have an idea. Oh yeah. I have a question, actually. Do you mind if I ask the question before we? Because um, absolutely. So that was a that was two fives and a three, right? So is that does that Correct. that takes points off of the task, doesn't it? Because the two that, fives are victories. That is very true. Um, and we only need one more victory before we have stolen a recipe book. So we're <laughs> two two out of three on the way there. I have um, an idea. Find a way to mark that. We should find a house that smells nice. They probably have a recipe book. Oh man, I don't even know what smelling is, but yes, <laughs> absolutely. Um. Okay. So, um, like we go find a house. Yeah, that oh. smells nice. Yes, with fire. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Um. All right. So, I'm gonna go. Um. Let's go find a house. Okay. I I want to find a, a good smelling house, and they're over there. So we should go, and and then um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go find a good smelling house. Okay. But before right. we do that, it is time for our oh. break. Oh. So we are going to take a five or 10 minute break here. Uh, and we're going to come back and try and find a house from which to steal a recipe book. <laughs> so uh, if you want to find out which one of our goblins dies next, uh, make sure to catch us on the flip of this break. We also want to say thank you to Chovik Sani and Mini Marco for your donations. We are thank now you. Uh, a third of the way to <gasps> our goal to unlock a uh, to unlock our rerolls. If you want to help us unlock rerolls, we only need 50 more bucks to do that. So, I mean, hey, that's $25 that is more a dollars that we had yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. Thank you. That is a completely much. doable goal, and I believe in all of you. So let's do it. All right. Otherwise, I'm going to die in like five rolls. Yep. So just we'll be that. back soon. See you. Oh, wait. And just a reminder uh, at least. I, I just want to confirm, Do are we doing a dice giveaway today, Oh Voice in the Sky? No. Okay. So no dice giveaway today, so just chill. Everybody chill and chat, hang out, um, and we'll see you in about five or ten minutes. And we are 
back, and I believe that before we get started, we have another toast from one of the lovely people who have has donated. Uh, we have a toast from Minnie Marker who says, "Hug bears for all who are inclined." Aww. Thank you so much, Minnie Marker. What was it? Boink. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> Uh, that said, we had another donation during the break. Thank you so much, Artful Badger. We're now uh, we're now uh, forty five dollars away from our goal of unlocks for re rolls. So if you want us to be able to re roll and possibly either do significantly worse than we want to, or you know maybe save one of our goblins' lives, uh, please donate uh, to unlock re rolls for the table. Um, and yeah, I believe we left off with somebody trying to find a nice smelling house. <clears throat> uh, yes. <laughs> so, uh, Herkel is just gonna start walking kind of through town and kind of figures out as she goes that, that, that this is how she smells. She smells with her nose and she just goes around sniffing hoping that you know eventually um something will will click in her little goblin brain that that it smells good and probably has a recipe book in it i feel like what you smell instead of like is that what you smell is actually like really to what to us humans would be awful but to probably goblins smells great is you smell what's what's like a heaping trash pile of like discarded food items like banana peels and well, doesn't like, my sorry peels. doesn't my roll determine that don't Does i it? roll to see if i yeah i have to I, my oh, yeah. action i throw well, it, it. Roll is see. You're, you're right you're right yeah. no you're mm -hmm. right you're you're mm -hmm. you wanted to find a uh, house that smells good you're completely correct amanda thank you let me see mm. so wants to find a good smelling house i'm gonna look at So I'm going to say, I'm going to say that maybe the incredibly lucky hat is going to help. It's going to be incredibly lucky. It actually is not a hat. It is a pot worn upside down uh, on their head. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and so I'll see, I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to also uh, air, roll the dice literally and figuratively to uh, see, tell me. Oh no. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I like hearing that. It's fine. So, hilariously enough, it's a one, a three, and a five. Oh my goodness. Oh, So, wow. it is... You really ran the gamut. It is a, uh, let's see. It's an injury, so gonna take an injury here. Just one one of the hit points donezo for Herkel. Um, and then it's something bad. And, and then victory. Huh. Which is, I want to be clear, the third victory in this. So you you will have succeeded in stealing a recipe book by the end of whatever you're about to do. Um, what am I about to do? Uh, okay, so <laughs> um, something bad happens. Okay, uh, I think that's something unfortunate. It's weird though to have something bad happen, but you're still going to actually succeed yeah. at like yeah. Sometimes life is like that. <laughs> um, okay, I mean, so, sometimes life is like so that. Herkel like spills something and just kind of walks over there and, and in the window and, you know, it's a very stereotypical, there's like a pie or some kind of good smelling, I guess, thing in there. Um, and she just like climbs through the window and kind of looks and doesn't see anybody around and, and sniffs some more and just sees it sees a rectangly thing that that you know is open and so her little goblin brain is like maybe this one's it um and she grabs it but she doesn't think that she can um get through the window again with this book because it's big um so she tries to go out or they try to go out the front door um but the woman who lives there sees that sees her screams and what are you doing in my house grabs a rolling pin 
and whacks me in the head with it. While I, and I tripped and then I dropped the book, but then I picked it back up and I ran, but man, it really hurt. And um, and I, I ran the wrong direction for like 10 minutes before before I stopped and, and I went, oh no, this is the wrong way. <laughs> and then I turned around and, and, and now I'm here. Here we go. Ow! Oh, oh maybe yeah. this is it. Also, thank yes. you, Voodoo Goth, for 1,000 bits. Oh, oh thank you, Voodoo Goth. This book is amazing. What? What's so amazing about it? I literally have no idea. No, I know. I, am I know. Amazed. Do you see this? Do you see this? It's. It looks like the thing in the window. It's like the same. Is that a charcuterie oh, board? Char charcuterie oh, board? it doesn't. It doesn't taste like anything, though. It's just. Oh no! It's, this is it's a you. spell it's... book. Oh, it's a spell. It teaches you how to cast that thing in the window. <gasps> we have to hide it from the wizard. If the wizard knows we have a spell book, we're gonna be in oh, trouble. Dead me. But, but don't we have to know how to use it to make the the, the, the charcuterie? No, we'll ask. Not, no. Oh, we'll we'll yeah. ask the lady, the the lady who the lady who who wanted her chicken uh, back, right? We can ask. Yeah. We can ask her. But but here's the book. So so, hooray! And yay! Yes! 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 So I think so I, step I, one yes. complete. <laughs> we I'm move really on. To stage two. Oh, oh yeah. We have to catch the chicken now. Yeah. Oh. I think we should lay a trap for it. We're good at traps. We can do oh. traps. I am excellent at traps. I think I think we should go to the lady's house and lay a trap. Uh and I'm but first we have to find her house. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to find the old lady's house. That's going to be my action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I... Let me see. Do I have anything here that can help me with finding the old lady's house? Mm -hmm. Well, I am a seaman, which means I have an excellent... I have excellent <laughs> navigational skills. I'm just gonna. It's, it's fine. It's I, have, it's I have. I have excellent navigational skills. I. I can. I can definitely find this house. So I'm gonna roll three die. Here we go. Hacha. Oh, I rolled a three, a five, and a six. Oh. So I don't get hurt or anything, but I do think something bad is going to happen while I attempt to find this house. Not to be a Debbie Downer. Oh. But did you take the minus one into consideration? I mean, no. That means I have a two, a four, and a five. Ooh, so you do take damage. Ow. So I take an injury. Luna gets hurt. Get wrecked, Luna! Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So as Luna is, Seaman Luna is looking for this house. And as they are looking around, I think they trip over a very large root just outside the old lady's house and bonk their forehead really hard on the ground and it hurts a lot and it leaves like little scra scraped up bruise on their face uh but Seema luna you know shakes it off and and kind of like points at the house and goes oh oh i think this is it it looks like what the like the whoa, it, it the thing in our brain that that we all were born with that that picture of the house in our brain this is this is it this is the old lady's house. I what? remember this house. What? What are we? What? What's, what's happening? We found, we found it. <laughs> I found. I found the lady's house. Oh. Now we must find okay. the chicken and lay a trap for it. All right. We're gonna get this chicken. 
If you want the chicken fried, I can help with that. <laughs> I you know it. My my hat is really lucky. Like maybe we maybe we could use that. <gasps> you want to trap the chicken in your hat? Hmm. How do you? Yes. Oh yeah. Yes, I do. Whoa. I do. I do. I do. <gasps> okay. Um. This. Yes, I can do that. I bet. I, I bet I can go fast. But wh where's the? We have. Where's the chicken? We have to find it first. Yeah. How maybe do you find the chicken? Maybe we should ask the lady where she saw the chicken last. <gasps> Oh. oh. Is anybody good at talking to old ladies? Oh, I can disguise myself. <gasps> yes. I'm really good at disguising. I am, I am. My expertise is in transformations. Oh, I think this seems like an incredibly smart what, idea. Um, what is tra transformation? I don't know. For some reason, the word just lives in my head, and I can see it. Transformation. Mm. Mm. I don't believe that's a word. <laughs> well, okay. watch this. And I guess my action is going to be: I'm going to disguise myself in order to talk to the old uh. lady. So you watch. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think I'm going to try to do. Oh my goodness! Oh, love for Gabos. All right, first of all, love for Gabos. You're in the right Thank place, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 25 bits. Wait, let me see if I if I have my math right on this. Let's see. We have 25, 35, 40, uh, 65, 65. So we're 10, 10 dollars away from unlocking rerolls for the table. So, so and fun. then thank you so much to Manapot Studios for the uh, the raid. Welcome, welcome to all of you. We're so yes, we oh. are playing Goblin oh, Quest, Goblin, 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 and Goblin. I'm about to roll some dice here to see whether or not I can successfully transform myself in order to talk to this lady. Oh, Max, this has the misfortune, doesn't it? Though this stage. Oh, yes, it does. Shimble yes, scamps. It also, does. Can I ask a quick question too? Yes. Uh, about how the action like thing works because all of like, us have gone now. Right, right. And so once that goes, it's just, it resets back. Is and that in between, can... like, does it reset at the new task or is it just until all four go? Okay, cool. All I just wanted, go. I was just making sure I am. Yep. <laughs> yeah, once all four go, turn order resets. Okay, right. Misfortunes. Roll the misfortune table. You go ahead, Aki. I'm going to learn how to play this game all over again because I have a brain like a leaky sieve. Um... You good, fam. You, you, you good. And because I also have a mole that keeps changing positions, like my body is just primed for transformation. Every time you look at me, I look different. So Okay, I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch. I'm really excited. All right, I'm going to roll four dice. Here we go. What? Oh, that's, that's so many. But it's so many chances to die. Yeah. So oh, I'm well, transforming boo, myself boo, boo. in order to talk to the old lady. The action here is talking to the old lady. So we just see my transformation. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, something amazing just happened. Oh. Am I still at a minus one? Mm, no, you're, I don't think so. That was what did you what did you roll in the last round? I think uh, it was a it was a five oh, four and oh, oh. oh five four and two. The four gives you a plus one. Ah, okay. To all cool. of your numbers, and it should be noted that our misfortune will be revealed here. So, um, oh, tell so us what your die roll. All right, so it's really fortunate that I had plus one on all of my dice because oh, I Randy rolled. Yeah, I got. Because... Uh, what? Me? What? <clears throat> Sorry, you kind of fell out there, Max, and we didn't hear what you said. Oh, so. yeah. Aki, tell me about your dice, and then Randy, we will get to you. Okay. All right, cool. So it's really fortunate that I had plus one on all of my dice rolls, uh, because I originally rolled a one, one, four, five, and a four. But now I have two, two, uh, six, and five. I still die, but I got some victories here. So I think I got two victories. If that, yeah, that's correct. So uh, you, five, five and a, six. Uh, a five and a six. So you see Luna like like <laughs> take 
some sticks and some some dirt and like leaves and things like that and like transform themselves into something resembling like a, 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 a regular human child and they go up to like they go up to the door and they knock on it and like you see them have a brief conversation with the lady and all seems to be going well but as they turn around to come back to you they they say i know where the chicken and they trip over the the root of the tree again and as they like begin to expire they go the last place the chicken was seen was in the forest <laughs> and uh and and that's they, a lot to say as you're falling. <laughs> yeah. No, like they fall over Very and as they are fall. as they're, they're falling, they fall. And as they're dying, that's what they say. As you cradle poor Luna, semen Luna in your arm, you you know, it's it's a yeah. Yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> oh, okay. But three victories. That is good. Three um, victories? Three? I thought victories. it was two. It's five and two. six. Got it. Oh, I know, but six says subtract two from the difficulty rating. Oh, cool. Then oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. Three. I'm looking at the wrong thing. No, I can't. I can't read. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Oh. So two. I was like, what? <laughs> two victories. Yeah, two. Two, 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 two. On no. that task. But now we must find out what our misfortune is. What? Uh, okay, I, Randy, I lied to you. You need to roll one more d6. Oh, one more? Okay. Yeah. And I'm rolling. So, it's a five. Great. This is exciting. So, according to our misfortunes table, the one indicates orcs and bugbears, uh -oh. and a five indicates a catapult on top of the orcs' barracks misfires. Yes. So, but what does Luna, that? What does that mean, though? Like, you have to. How do you? It means this it is going to happen now. So Luna has <laughs> collapsed and died, and now. A catapult in the orc barracks, far, far away, has misfired and is about to cause a little bit of chaos for us. So, hey gang, let's do a little bit of collaborative storytelling. Yeah. Uh, what do we, we do on this think? Show? It's the first. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do we think that's going to do? to us and our chicken and our lives. Um, the I have like this, <clears throat> sorry, go ahead. The catapult, right? The, like whatever yeah. they- The do. catapult, the catapult has misfired. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> I I feel as if this is like an Indiana Jones, the, roll, the rock rolling towards you kind of thing. Randy seems real excited <laughs> about something. Randy, do your thing. I think Please. I want I want it to misfire because the bugbears were playing with chickens and so there's multiple chickens in the forest making it harder for us to like it fires chickens into the forest oh. which makes it really hard to find our mystical chicken that's on the it run. Is, it is it is a it is a instead of a fireball it's a chicken ball. Just like they were they were playing they were like maybe doing something bugbears do and then they messed up and being jerks. Just, just being jerks against chicken, chicken jerks. <laughs> jerk Trebu chicken. This like, is like, the jerk chicken situation. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so trebuchet chickens. They, they, they. Some of them are okay. Some, maybe some of them aren't. Uh, it was a lot. I of wonder. Chicken. They, they were, they were, they were, um, they were prototyping a new food delivery uh, service. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. It's called Clucker. <laughs> Um, no, mother no. clucker, clucker chucker, clucker chucker. chucker. Yes. There we go. So they are basically building a new like fried chicken franchise, and decided to play, decided to prototype their delivery system, and it misfired, and now we have a bunch of chickens in the forest. Okay, well, harder. We also this sounds wildly reasonable. <laughs> two of five chickens that are two chickens. <laughs> two of five <laughs> victory points. Shut up. <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, I know how right. we're going to find the chicken. Um, oh, no. If you want to go, go. Luna. But Luna. Oh, oh. no. Oh. oh, bye, Luna. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, I wouldn't worry about them. No. Oh, oh, hey. Whoa. Hey, what's up? 
Who are you? I, Who are you? Oh, oh, I, I am the Seaman Hermes. Oh, hey, Hermes. And my defining feature is that I have big, thick rimmed glasses. Whoa! Just oh, but I love them. Old. Yeah. I love I, them. They're, be they're beautiful. And Seaman Hermes, at your service. Oh, hey, hey, um, hey, si Sidey, what, what were you gonna do? What's happening? Isn't that you? Oh, yeah, you were gonna uh, go. Hey, oh, <laughs> sorry, I, I, I forgot I my name. I forgot my name. <laughs> so that, that's fine. Uh, I was like, what? Well, oh, it's me. Uh, yeah. It's you. Okay. So, enchanted chickens, right? What's better than so normal chickens? They can't burn. I mean, they can burn. They can burn. I think. But I think if we like an enchanted chicken, it's enchanted, right? So if you put right. fire on it, maybe right. it won't blow up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up some things in the forest to light some fire and see which yep. chickens run away and which ones don't care. And the one that doesn't care is the enchanted chicken. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, okay. you know that seems to actually make some sense. That I think that's a good idea. That makes pretty sense. solid. This is one of the best ideas I've ever heard of. Yeah. I do have one question. Uh, yeah. When you say some things, <laughs> oh yeah. What do you mean? What's it gonna light on fire? <laughs> how awesome is it gonna look? Oh, okay. Oh. So, my family, right? We're really cool. We like fire. It's really fun. And what we That's do great. is we take some of the extra arm hair we have and we light it on fire and we run around and then we touch stuff with our arms. <laughs> oh my God. That's oh, exceptionally hey. <laughs> dangerous. I love it. What's the coolest thing you ever set on fire? Ah, uh, the coolest thing we've, uh, uh, me? I was just born yesterday. Um, Not you know, even yesterday. Born, not even yesterday. Okay. okay, well fine. What's right. the coolest thing that you've heard of that someone in your family set on fire? It was an entire, well, it was our own house long ago, oh, but, but wow. it was really epic because when it happened, there was lots of smoke and then it exploded. Oh that's, my goodness. That's why we, we like playing with that. That's wild. I love being alive in the modern era. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's pyrotechnics and yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Maybe go out within a blaze of glory. I'm expected to die. <laughs> oh, you should roll four then. Yeah. Yeah. Let's and just it. a reminder, chat, we are only $10 or 1,000 bits away from having <laughs> rerolls. This so. would be a great time to get some rerolls. <laughs> just so great. Just oh, saying. It definitely would. <laughs> um, um, and are there can any you remind modifiers? Me what your, yeah, what your die roll was. Uh, from before? Or, or just now? Uh, my last die roll yes, was uh, was a two, a two, a six, and a five. No, no modifiers. All right. So uh, we have a five. That's a success. There's a four and a three and a two. <laughs> okay. Two, three, I got five. five. <gasps> two, three, four, five. Yeah. <laughs> This is the last damage. I didn't even think about that. For, for poor Sidey. <laughs> yeah, poor Sidey. Um, I mean, he, he did say he was literally lighting fire on his arms and running around to find it. <laughs> oh, because you're going to cause casual forest fire. Everybody no big deal. <laughs> you already had an injury, right? You already had yeah, one injury. That's I already why. had okay. one injury. Yeah. Okay. So two, okay. three, four, five. That's something bad, something good. good. Oh, that means something good, right? Because like... I think when it's a tie, it ends up being good. That's correct. Okay. Ties are a good thing, so it's a bonus. So it's something good, roll. an injury, the next and a victory. Yep. Oh, there's oh, there's four though, right? Two, three, four, five. Shit. Two, three, four, five. Yes. Oh, so right. Three, four three and are... four combine to become something good. Right, and then I take to an injury, Voltron. and we get one success and a victory. All right, paint us a picture. Yeah, so uh, you see him getting ready and he's like, I've got to go out in this blaze of glory. This could be so cool. 
and he <laughs> lights like he, he you see him trying to like like light his fur on I mean his little hair arm hair on fire and he doesn't know how to do it and so then he's like what what can I do and then he looks over at one of the lanterns and he's like ah that <laughs> and he goes over puts his arm in it and then he's like ah this is always what I expected and then he's like really confused if that it hurts more than he thought and then he just puts his other arm like, ah! and runs through this forest, starts like rubbing on trees and like until like he just can't take it anymore. It just like plops over. On fire. <laughs> well, here's the victory. Ah! Don't you have doesn't it mean that like something good happens? I mean that so yeah. so the victory is some of the chickens run away and there's like less chickens in the forest now. <laughs> Great. Okay. We've we've thinned the herd, as it were. Hey, does does anybody know like any any magic? Like, do you know how to how, how to tell of something? Because like, there's only like six chickens left, but that's a lot of chickens. Um, any of them like glowing or sparkly uh, or shiny? I know shiny things are usually very magic. I like mm-hmm. shiny. Things. I don't. Oh. What if I? What if I just? What if I take my hat? Like I said, and I go and I run and I just like catch them one at a time. And then, and then, and then, oh, what if, oh, oh what if we oh, just. Oh, no, you got it. You got it. You got it. It doesn't matter if we catch the, the wrong, the wrong chickens, as long as we catch all the chickens. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, then yeah. we kill them all and we can eat them all. Yeah. Well, the and, and it can just be like. A big, uh, I don't know, a shark tree, or big one. Oh, we'll like a giant shark tree out of these chickens. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, and there's more. If there's more of them, that's better, right? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, the incredibly lucky hat. Um, yeah. So let's see. I'm gonna prep myself. You're gonna see me like scrouch down, like I'm about to start a, a race, and I'm just like kind of wiggling a little bit, and I got got my pot. My hat, my lucky hat, and I'm ready to freaking go. Um, let's see. Fart noodles are always prepared. <laughs> Fuck, forgot. I <laughs> know. <laughs> um, all right, so I get a plus uh, the four. The four gives me a plus one, right? Yes. Okay. You have a plus one. So, shoot skis. Um, so that's three. I'm trying to see if anything else like makes sense um oh all right all right hold on i gotta put a dog down Oop. oh man goodbye buffy it was so nice Bye forever <laughs> um i'll just roll the three and we'll see what we'll see what happens we are currently by the way at 65 dollars and 52 cents we are so close to that goal Oh my gosh. So um, please give us nine dollars and forty eight cents so that I don't die on my next Wow, roll. you did that math really fast. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. It's like you you do maps. <laughs> I was a different man once by time. Okay, so this is interesting actually. Um, because I rolled a three, a four, and a six, which then become a four, a five, and a seven. Um Oh if, but yeah, according to the book, if you get uh, a, like a seven uh, it's two victories. That yeah. is two victories. So that means that we, we, ha- we successfully laid like vic- big vic- two big victories and something good. So basically this just, unfortunately, the fart noodles are very bad at dying. Um, but hey. hopefully that will change soon. I would like to go out in some fun way. <laughs> um, anyway. You're very uh, sturdy. So, so Herkel does the, th- and then she, and then they go and I run and run, 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 run. And, you know, chickens are dumb. Chickens are dumb. Um, so she goes and she just, she just like bonks them. It's really pretty easy, actually. Just bonks them right on the head like six times, just a little bonk. Um, because, you know, incredibly lucky pot means they, they never miss. Little hurtful fart, little farmy through the forest. Chasing all the chickens about them on the head. Yeah, so that's what happened. Oh my goodness, look at all the, the dead chickens. 
Ah, these are so good looking. They have like thighs and wings. Which one do you think is magic, though? Max. Which one do you think There's is magic? There's only one way to know. What? Do you think it tastes different? Yeah. <gasps> don't we? We gotta don't give we, it a go. Don't, oh. we, don't we have to give the chicken back to the old lady in order to get our invitation to the castle? Well, all right, fine. We'll just we'll bring all the chickens and and we'll we'll tell her that they're all magic. Hello. Hello. Oh. oh. Uh, Hello. Are you another Scraggledorf? <laughs> yes, I am. My name is Curly. Curly. For my long curly locks. <laughs> Hello, Curly. I'm Seaman Hermes. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm Fire I'm Noodle Hercule. <laughs> Limpet the pliable. Yeah! Oh, oh. Are we doing? Yes, I'm Seaman. $10. Thank you. Now we have a re-roll? Or like one re-roll? We each? have What's four. Yeah, we have four re-rolls for the Ooh. table to share. Yes. So, I need to start re-rolling for worse results. <laughs> Please I think don't. That's... <laughs> Why? I don't want us to succeed. We're all supposed to die of horrible goblin we, death. We, we, you know what? We literally will have a it. five DC for everything <laughs> later in the game. I think it's too early to think it's this easy. You know, <laughs> we will I die. guarantee you. I will die every roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm, I, I believe in you, and Amanda, and your ability to die. All right. <laughs> So who still has an action thing for this round? Uh, I believe Max I do. does. Uh, Limpet limp okay. limp does. Um, okay, we've got a bunch of chickens. We now have to learn to make an artisanal board. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's what I would like to do. I would like to... Because I don't want to go back to the old lady yet and and present her with all these chickens without presenting her the charcuterie board. I feel like that's a preemptive move. <laughs> so we have to learn how to do this another way. I think that the people to trust in this in this, or at least the people who know what's up, are going to be the hobgoblins. They're great information brokers. You know, they they they're very put together. They know the rules. So. What I would like to do is um, find a hobgoblin chef mm. and see if we can wean some information from them. So, okay. Look, here's the deal. And I think it's pretty cut and dry here, guys. If we can get ourselves into the hobgoblin kitchens... I bet those goofballs are just making shark cute boards day and night. Cutie boards, yes. I think we could definitely count on them to be making cutie boards in there. Shark cutie boards sound great. Yeah, they do. And I don't know sounds... why anyone would want to eat a board. Well... You don't know what it tastes like until you've eaten it. There's only one way to find out. I suppose that's true. Okay, so here's the deal. All right. We're all going into the hobgoblin kitchens, and we're going to do our, our thing and trying to learn what we can do. So uh, what I'd like to do is I'm going to climb through a small window in the hobgoblin kitchens and unlock a... Uh, I'm going to climb through like a skylight and unlock a window so that the rest of the gang can get in and we can all... Oh no, I lost the max. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, we all glip. lost you there for a second, Max. Oh, glip, glap, glip, glip. You said glip. you're going to climb up oh, okay. and go through a window. Uh, I'm going in through a skylight. Okay. And I'm going to let you in through a window. And I'm going to use a bunch of my abilities here. I'm going to go wild on this shit. Because <laughs> why not? Uh, Limpet. Limpet's a daredevil. So I'm going to use the pliable. And I'm going to use bending before breaking. Uh, 
in order to get this done. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I'm gonna like climb up onto the roof, and I'm gonna kind of like, you know how like rats have very bendy bones. I'm just gonna like jam my body through the smallest hole that I can, and be like like a toothpaste tube style, just like, and try and get you out. So this is the plan. Let's see how it goes. I don't actually have enough dice for this. We're gonna do this game. Okay. Hold on. Scoop. Oh yeah. All right. Did anyone roll any bonuses? Uh, I did. I had a four, a five, and a seven. <clears throat> so you, the four is something good. So it's a plus one. Okay. Sweet deal. So it's two. Oh man, we're in great shape here. Oh. Okay, we're doing we're doing really good. Wimp it. Okay, so I got a four, a two, a five, and a seven. Nice. So we got two victories on that. Three victories. Three victories, yes. Five and the seven counts for two. Yep. So we're going to get through it. We're going to figure out <laughs> what we're doing. In the meantime, <clears throat> Limpet's going to take a little bit of a bludgeoning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Limpet climbs up to the top of the Hobgoblin Kitchens. And finds a very small um, snoot, you know, like a flu kind of, those little tubes, and just starts jamming their, their like soft, unformed skull into the tube and just kind of wriggling themselves down until You're they Santa come out the like shit. Okay. I'm Santa Clausing the shit out of it. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. And there's just this kind of green goo that just clumps out of the out of the ceiling, and they grab onto the like the ceiling bars and like, <laughs> and they go to the window and they unlatch it and it slides down, and the rest of you now can pile in, and as we all pile in and we start looking around for um, <laughs> how to make an artisanal charcuterie board, we start. The first thing that happens is that one of us very casually lays the cookbook out. <laughs> oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, oh. And just, there it is. Hold, hold on. I'm going to do it. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay. Treat the recipe Her- book with reverence. Herkel yes. lays out the magical recipe book. And watches as a hobgoblin walks kind of <laughs> past it and doesn't worry about it doesn't even really look and then another hobgoblin walks past it and doesn't really look and one of us is like we got to get these damn hobgoblins to pay attention to this magical book <laughs> i'm gonna set a fire or <laughs> in the kitchen <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, like, yeah i can eavesdrop on them to to hear about charcuterie so whatever they were making, I'm gonna just uh, go and put it on fire. <laughs> With it, like just turn it up, and so they have to make whatever's there. And then if there are any other books with pictures, I'm gonna hide them. <laughs> chickens. What about the chickens? We have to give so, them the chickens. Yes, I right. use my I use my scepter of peacemaking, which is nothing but a rusty spoon, to help negotiate with the hobgoblins. Gross and good. <laughs> uh, so all the other cookbooks are on fire. Herkel's out there listening to everybody talk about stuff. Uh, <laughs> Curly's just going pyro. Uh, Her- Hermes? Are you Hermes now? Yes, I am Seaman Hermes. Seaman-, <laughs> Seaman Hermes is now come down. Books are on fire. <laughs> People are listening. And is like, and is has par has begun to parlay with the hobgoblins while um i believe that limpet has now uh, <laughs> brought in the pile of chickens and to do it. oh no max uh, so if anyone wants to play a hobgoblin against oh no have i cut out again no we can see you now but bleep, bleep. a hobgoblin against doing what Great. What you need uh, the if someone could play a hobgoblin against uh, Hermes and, and we can parlay this moment, that would be great. We come in peace. We have no heart. We have no intention of harming you. We would just like your assistance, please. 
Um, hello. Hi. Can I help you? Yes, we need to make a charcuterie board. A uh, charcuterie board. Uh, with a charcuterie board. You yeah. need to make a charcuterie board. Yeah, we brought oh. a recipe book. Um, but who are you? Oh, I'm Seaman Hermes of the Seamans. Okay. And these are chickens. One of them is enchanted. We need to use that one. Oh, you know, you know what? Oh my, I, I have to be dreaming. This is a dream. Um, it's not. Or, I'm real. Oh, it, I, no, you're not. No, you're not. Oh, I, I maybe the. Oh, uh. Well, usually when dreams like this happen, that you only go away when I do what you ask. What, what do you want? I'm gonna start crying. But I'm gonna use my uh, magical stone of weeping and like <laughs> take that rock and like bang it into my head until I start crying. And then I'm gonna turn around and be like, <laughs> oh, Please this, help us. Oh, this dream is really weird. Um, it's, will you help us? Um, yes, yes, will you go away? Will you go will away? Will you help I, us? Oh, absolutely. Just oh. please, a shark cute tree. Okay. A shark okay. tree board. I, uh, go hard. Okay. Um. Okay. I need you. Okay. Will you please just like turn around or something while I'm doing this? It's very. It's, I find it very unsettling. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. And it takes like probably a couple hours to like like a to proper artisanal. To, shark so you board. just hear like you hear like not you hear like the metal of knives chopping and just slicing and pulling and all this other stuff and then then you turn around and you have an enormous. Like because it's got six chickens on it at least. You got an enormous <laughs> charcuterie board with uh with meats and cheeses and chutneys uh mm. and uh even some nuts in there. Uh okay. I have a question. Cheese. What is Did I say cheese? Cheese. Yeah. Yes. What's the oh, uh G20. enchanted chicken look like on the charcuterie board? Oh um all right, so the uh, the hobgoblin was able to tell that the chicken had magic once they cut it open, um, because uh, enchanted chickens have two hearts. They need both of them in order to to cast their to cast their enchanted spells. It's through a lot of hard work on the body. Um, so yes, it is. I, I don't really like to describe gross things. No, um, you do not. Have no, 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 no. Describe it as uh, kindly as you can. Yeah. Uh, so all the other like chickens thing are are around. It's on a, a little leveled uh, tray in the middle. Uh, oh. Yes, very extra specially prepared with uh, uh, extra special spices. <laughs> I don't know. Magic and, spice. <laughs> and and gloriously sitting atop that that uh, pile of chicken are the two hearts. Aww. I am very into this presentation. It is uh, a very food forward. I like it a lot. Yes, also, the, the chicken hearts, hearts are of delicious. A, yeah, the hearts of a an enchanted chicken are said to bring good luck. Ah, you have created a masterpiece. Thank you. Oh, please you're get amazing. Out of, please go home and get out of my dreams. Thank you. Absolutely. Goodbye. No problem. And, um, <laughs> and as we all head out, um, limpet you know everyone else is kind of carrying the tray of of charcuterie and limpet turns and sees a pot of stew that's kind of bubbling over and it's very excited about it and it's like oh i gotta try like nobody's looking because they all realize their cookbooks are on fire and he just like ah! dunks his head in the boiling pot of stew and slurps up a bunch of it and comes out with a look that is bordering between the most horrifying pain imaginable and absolute glee. Okay. So he, they don't die? or They, um, they, tasted, taste, they taste, his, yeah. his tasted greatness. Uh, but on the other hand, he does not, they do not die. They're, they're just halfway towards dead. But on the other hand, everything from the waist up is like now very bubbling. <laughs> like, oh. so burnt. Oh, uh, Limpet, Limpet, that's not a good look. Yeah, that, yeah, that can be, that can be good for your complexion. Oh, was it good? Was it delicious? Oh, 
so good. Oh, well, that's nice. That's we should it. we should go and get our invitations so that yes. we can get ready for the ball. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Hmm. So, okay. knock on the door. Do do do. Uh, yes, can I help you? Oh, well, isn't this the most beautiful charcuterie board? And look, you even found my enchanted chicken. Oh, you found a lot of chicken. This is, I'm going extra, to have. Extra is good, right? More. Oh, what on earth happened to you? Oh, oh don't, don't mind him. He just had a little accident in the kitchen. Oh, they, so good. They look oh. positively. Well, never mind. I, when you get the invitation, we'll we'll take him and leave. Oh yes, here is okay. your invitation to the ball. <laughs> Though I would advise you perhaps to find something nicer to wear, and I hope you know how to dance. Oh, I'm very oh. good at tomorrow. Very good at dancing. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, what does what 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 does it say? It says by order of the king. <gasps> You have been invited to the palace to attend the ball. Please arrive promptly at 7 p.m. No one who is late may enter. Oh, what is that? Oh. What time? What yeah, what time? Time? You have, if you look at where the sun is now, the sun will be very close to the horizon by the time you get there. Is that thing that the thing that around? big, that the very, very faint glowing orb behind all the clouds, yes. Oh, oh. And what's a horizon? Uh, it's that line that means the the land and the sky are kissing. Oh, and, and yeah. <laughs> it's a kissing point. I know. <laughs> uh, Herkel starts looking on the ground for for the a lot the horizon for a line on the horizon. Don't oh, see. Yeah. Don't see anything. You got to look out as far as you can where sky meets earth. You're you're very patient. I like you. I and mean, the goblin is you rubbing made... on your leg. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, well, you did make me a, an enormous charcuterie board, which I'm sure everyone at the ball will greatly enjoy. Oh yeah, I hope so. Um, oh yeah. The hobgoblin, the hobgoblin that thought we were a dream worked really hard on it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Charcuterie <laughs> boards are are really fun. They were. It was grand. It was great. Oh, okay, but we have to go. We have. Oh. Uh, we have to go. We yeah yeah. You have a lot uh, of we, work to do. We we don't have. Look at the sun over there. It's we don't have a lot a lot of time. I mean, don't look. Just look look direct. at it. Well, look directly at the sun. Neither does Limpet. Limpet, Limpet doesn't have much time either. But we want we want them to go to the ball. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Well, then you best be best be off. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for the invitation. Of course. Yeah, very kindly, Blob. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Where are um, we going to find an outfit? I don't know, What's... but I think Limpet is the one who should, we should make Limpet the face of our group. Because oh. Oh, Limpet, I'm Limpet, the prettiest. Limpet doesn't really yeah. have a face. I yeah. don't know. I kind of think that, that maybe Herkel should be the face. Oh, Herkel, it should Me? be you. Yeah. The face, wait, the face of what? The face of our group, because like we, th she said we need to find an outfit. What said, outfit? You oh, are cordially invited. Not you all. Oh, oh, I see. So, so we. Oh, you want me to be the? You want me to be the the face? Um, yeah. Um. Oh, and nice. since, I mean, since, leg? And since the the lip, since limpet's bottom half is still looking okay, uh, like yeah, one of the legs at least. Oh, yeah. But what about you? What about what about you two? You're gonna Me? be in the middle. What's oh, that? I, I, I think I can be on the bottom half because I want to dance. Okay, no, no. Okay, you know we, we, um, we have to practice. So, um, yeah, but first so, we have to find an outfit. Yeah, you know, I'm, outfit. I'm gonna say that I'd like to take this a little bit of a different direction because in order to have an outfit and be able to go, you have to be able to actually stand on top of each other's shoulders in a respectable fashion and that looks so we're in a practice Ooh. oh i love this um, is that your action? i like this yes it is cool yes it is my action is that we are going to practice climbing on top of each other putting <laughs> Herkel at the top and like 
and like moving together as as uh as you know four goblins not in a trench coat yet this is right. delightful we're doing we're doing what is colloquially referred to as muppet man yeah I'm muppet sure. man muppet man um so let me see uh my i am gonna say that uh the extra finger on each of my hands helps with climbing helps like with grip and climbing to like climb to the top of of the of the Clever. pile of you um i really wish i had i had I had named them something different than fart noodle, though, to be honest, because when trying to think of how <laughs> fart noodle applies to any of these tasks, I am coming up empty. Um, um, I have a really awful suggestion. But Cthulhu, help me. I will find a way. <laughs> I have a, a deeply awful suggestion. Okay, not yet. I, you okay. can te text it to me so that I can see what it is. No, I, I want to hear it. Yeah, I kind of want to know, too. I think I think that I would love to like allow uh, Amanda agency over her character. So if she That's would true. like me to That's text true. her, I will text her. Yeah, just text me. I want to see. But um, okay. I'm gonna roll now to see how well our our acrobatics goes. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, did any did anything carry over? You had a four, yes. right? Yes. Uh, you do have a plus one to your rolls. Okay, I'm going to use a reroll then because I rolled three wow. fours, which would become a three fives, and that's boring. Okay. I love how you're playing this game. <laughs> so, reroll four for me, gone. It's, oh, I'm going to roll other dice. You got you dice are too lucky. Unlucky. I sent you a text, Amanda. Okay. Yes, that's way better. Okay. Yeah. Um. So we're all gonna regret this. <laughs> this that's a, I rolled a one, a one, and a six. Oh boy. Yes. Oh, which still becomes got a seven. A two, which becomes a two, a two, and a seven, which means there are two successes. <laughs> but uh but not only does uh Herkel die, Herkel's replacement shows up and also gets injured somehow. Um, is that how that oh. works? I think, well, or does it not carry I over? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Fascinating, fascinating. I want it no to. No idea. Um, <laughs> I want look, it to. If, if you want it to, then. But I, I'm not sure if it does. You're you're right. I don't know. Spare victories are bad or good things carry over between tasks. They do not. Each scene starts anew. Um, as far as I understand, the answer to this is generally you know what that's not true that's in between tasks i really have no idea here's okay. what i would say it's up to you buddy i'm gonna say yes they do carry over There's so no GMs here, so hell yeah it's way <laughs> more fun that way so but her so what i'm trying to okay i am like i have gotten completely lost we're practicing we are, standing on yes top of we're each practicing other. standing on top of each other mm -hmm. so um, hang on. find your center. I know. I'm just like, I'm literally just trying to think of a death is what I'm doing. Like, I'm just, um, <laughs> so yeah. All right. So, uh, you know, who's on the bottom? Who's, who's bottom? I think, feet? uh, uh, I think, uh, you are Max. Yeah, that's probably me because this top Limp part it. looks awful. Okay, so someone stand, someone stand on. I'm gonna someone's... stand on Limp it. I'll be, okay. I'll be the okay. next one. And okay, then I'm the next one. And you, Hurley, you get up there. Okay, but watch, watch your hair, because you know, yeah. like everybody yeah. careful. I mean, I, I'm the chest hair. Okay, here I go. Here I go. I'm climbing. Oh, uh, oh wow, this is like super cool. All right, great. Okay, guys. Um, um. I'm like, wow, it's really, it's really high up here. And, and I, I think they see, they see a bird. They see a bird in the tree next to them. And they're oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. No, and no, like reaches for no, it. And, no. uh, and just like the pot falls off. Okay, the pot falls off their head, lands on the ground, like face up. And 
Herkel takes a head nose dive, and somehow their head just manages to land right back in the pot. Oh, that's not very lucky. Um, and thus, oh. thus endeth, thus endeth, um, Herkel. <laughs> but then you hear, you hear a distressed, like, <laughs> like yelling from like somewhere in the forest, and out just like. <laughs> out just like runs another another uh, goblin uh, named Gorkin, and the reason that Gorkin is screaming and running out of the forest is because they are very very afraid of the dark. Aww. Um, anything dark, anything, and so they're <laughs> um, <laughs> they're coming out, um, and they uh, are like. This, I can't see it's so dark in there. I'm trying to hold ah, the chicken. Ah, 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 and then, like, ah, runs ah. directly into the three oh. of you. Oh. Um, ah. Everyone ah. falls on top of Gorkin. Uh, <laughs> uh, and Gorkin thus sustains a little bit of some squishing, crushing uh, damage. Uh, and is, yeah, it kind of has a little bit of a cave in on one of their sides. It's fine. They just have, like, a, they're just walking like this. They're walking it off. It's cool. But we did get a success for that, right? Do we yeah. need to mark uh, that down? We, we got two we got successes. successes. Oh, we we do, yeah. Down. Hold on, I'm on it. Cool. Yeah, but right. goodbye, goodbye, Herkel of the giant feet. Um, I would like to canonize squishing damage. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing that I think more games should incorporate. That like. I get it. Like, there's different kinds of damages that seem very standard, but squishing—I understand squishing damage. Right? Through. Yeah. Like, I got soft bits. Sometimes yeah. they hurt. <laughs> As you get older, the more soft bits you get. Oh. Everything gets softer, and everything yeah. hurts more. Yeah. Squishing damage is cumulative. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, but speaking of of which, uh, as as uh, they kind of dust themselves off. Uh, um, the uh, uh, semen Hermes will turn to everyone and go, I think we've had just about enough practice. I think now begins our hunt. And I believe I am the most equipped to lead the charge. So I was taking a long look at what the old lady was wearing. And I think if we look for something <laughs> like that, it'll probably be pretty good. So... I'm gonna look for a nice fabric that we can turn into an outfit. So. Oh, yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. My action is locating nice fabric. Okay. Let's see. So I'm going to use my semen uh, uh, honorific uh, <laughs> for navigating <laughs> again. Right and and you I know, came I, up with, I came up with fart noodle and I really thought that was gonna be the funniest one. It's not. Look, I want to make it abundantly clear that I have regressed into being an eight-year-old during this game. Yeah, <laughs> fucking hilarious. Uh, Every time uh, Amanda's reaction to my text was worth it. So um, <laughs> it's, it's pretty fucking good. Uh, so if you want to use it, use it yes. yeah. No, I hope to... I get to use it. I really awesome. Do. Cool. All right. So, uh, but the, since they're also, you know, and they have an expertise in transformations and disguise, they'll know exactly which uh, thing to grab that will help them dress the way they that we need to. Um, and uh, yeah, I think I think that as somebody who wants to be crowned leader, the, this role of of taking the lead and trying to find an outfit suits them. So I think I am rolling five dice. Just really oh. up, upping my wow. chances of getting super dead. While you do that, I'm just gonna. I don't think we mentioned since it's the second task, the we have numbers a... we have to oh. hit are four because that's there's four of us, six for stage two because that has the misfortune, and then four again for stage three. Mm -hmm. So that is true, it's harder now. Um, All right, cool. So here we go. Watch me go out in a blaze of glory. Ha cha. We've got two already. Yeah. And do we have any bonuses on this one? They're a one, a one, and a seven. No. Two, two, seven. No. Well, then this is freaking amazing. Oh. Um, I rolled a one. So I think <gasps> that it means I have an injury. 
Uh, I also rolled a four and three sixes. Uh, oh, damn. Wow. 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 So, you murdered that fabric. You go. <laughs> really did. Uh, so not only do I find the like a nice piece of fabric, I managed to craft it into something that looks amaz on us. Like real toga chic uh, happening here. Like really, like they, so Hermes kind of sniffs around a little bit, not really sniffs, but like their keen eyes are kind of looking around and they see in the, like in the distance at one of the other houses, like some bed sheets flapping in the wind as they're drying. And they kind of like put her over to there to them. And like, they're like trying to yank down the sheet to get it off of the, the clothesline. And as they do, one of the clothespins pops off and like pings them in the eye and just like, ah! Ah, so now they can't see out of one eye because it's been like nearly gouged out by a clothespin. But like they 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 soldier on and like they get everybody stacked up on top of each other, at least as close as they can get. And they like just start draping this fabric over everyone and like you know using the clothespins to kind of like get it in place. And it's it's very shabby chic, but you know it it it, it has like kind of this toga esque like elegance to it. Um, and then when they step back away from it, they go a masterpiece and like there's only three of you stacked on top of each other and it fits you which means when the four of you are stacked up on top of each other it is 100 percent going to be too short perfect oh, i love it i mean we got to make a splash yeah those legs are the defining characteristic <laughs> i mean they are eerily smooth <laughs> so we are too we are too good at this my goodness and Worry we not. should go Worry ahead not. and uh, acknowledge that we have another toast. <gasps> so uh, for love, uh, so for the person who sent us our very last tip and unlocked our rerolls, love for Gabu's, uh, or sorry, one of the people who, not the last person, one of the people who gave us a tip, love for Gabu's, that lovely $25 tip that we just got is, I just think they're neat. We think they're neat too. So thank you so much for the tip. Uh, and thank you because every time you send us a message, you force us to hydrate. So if for nothing else, we appreciate the toasts. <laughs> All right, and I think that's my my turn. We have successfully completed stage one. Pew pew pew! And I think we have two actions wow, left wow. before we can. Two actions. Yeah, we I do. Think Mac yeah. And it's uh, yeah. yeah. So Curly. Curly's at the top. Um, is someone else going to be the top person, or are we like yeah. going from the bottom up? I mean, <laughs> Gorkin, do you want to be on top? <laughs> oh, want to be on top? Oh yeah, man, this is one hundred percent America's. Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's I wanna, great. I want to be yes, yes, okay. yes. I want to be classy. I want to be classy and and, and oh, okay, okay. And so uh, the. Uh, I want to use my action. We need to now learn to dance. So I, I, I imagine we look pretty fly in the new outfit. For a white guy. And then, uh, except I'm a goblin. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> and right. we're probably green, but whatever. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know why that came into my head all of a sudden. Just kind of popped, popped well, right in there. Well, the one thing I For a green I guy. For a green guy or person. Goblin. Uh, uh, and then we need to learn to dance. So, um, has anyone ever been? Well, no, I guess not. We were just born today. Uh, how do you learn to dance? Oh, uh, I don't know. I know. know. Let's go to a bar. I hear what that's where. What is a bar? Uh, it's a place where people drink the, the stuff that makes you really crazy. And then people oh. get so excited, they dance. Oh, I don't know if I want to get reckless up in here, but you know. Oh. I'm 100% in this, sounds amazing. All right. Um, and so Curly sort of uh, tries to find where this is by asking every single person that they meet on the road. Where's the nearest bar? And people are like a little goblin, like get out of my face, but let's see what happens. So I don't actually use any of my skills. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna roll straight up to. Mm. 
Are there any like modifiers? Uh, I did roll one four in that batch, so I think you have a plus one. Okay, yeah. so that's a four and a five. Cool. So you and brought me up from failing, so that's one. So we have one. So they and like, we also have to figure. Oh, I have to figure out what my what our misfortune yeah. is. We're on our second task, so I need Ooh. to roll two d six, Max. Is that correct? Oh yes, yes, please. Good, good memory. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, I rolled. Uh, I don't know which we resolve first. Do I uh, do I need to resolve my thing um, first or? You mean like resolve the misfortune? Because now that we're on our second task, we we kind of forgot to set up our misfortune for uh, learn to dance. That yeah. is true. We did. Um, in theory, we set up the misfortune before we set up any any actions that take place. Um, but you know, nobody's watching. Not like there's anybody here to like, tell us. No rules, police. We literally have no masters, so we, we no can do anything here. we want. We what um, we want. Uh, but yes, I rolled a three and a six. Okay. Well, here's the question, Aki. Mm. Which one do you want to go first? Uh, the six. Great. Six. Miscellaneous problems, dog. Um, <laughs> nice. And, and a, a three, three is the green pits are undermining the camp and buildings start falling down. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Okay. So maybe because it's always so gray here that it is indicative of lots of rain. So maybe this town is like very muddy. And so like they're constantly having the foundations of their buildings sort of falling out from underneath them because like they can never like they never have like any decent solid ground so like the bar that we're about to go to is not exactly structurally sound <laughs> and may be starting to slide off of its foundations a little bit perfect but i did get a direction for the bar it is that way is it in that? Is it in that building right there? The one that's following? that one that looks kind of weird. Like it's um. Oh, they all look weird. They don't have rounded tops. That's true. Who built these things. This there is a very is a loud bad. and unpleasant noise coming from that place. Sounds great. Oh, Let's go. Oh, it sounds like this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the wizard was throwing up, and now this dude is throwing up. <laughs> Oh, well, that guy's probably a wizard. <gasps> oh, but he doesn't have a hat on. <gasps> no. He's a wizard. Hat. Wait, what are we doing? What's happening? I don't We're know. We need to, to go into the bar to learn to, oh. learn to dance. To learn. Are we going to go? Are we going to go separate? Or are we? Do, are we well, gonna... the only one I think who really needs to learn is is the person who's going to be our arms, which which is you, Scraggledorf, oh, wow, and wow. you, uh, and the, the, the legs, legs are famously the most important part of all dancing. Oh, yeah, you and have to I go in there, too. I know this because I've made it up just now. Oh, I, I think it sounds true. Sounds true to me. You have to right. go in there, too. And then, okay. Do we just wait? Do we just wait here and then uh, and then? I think so. Okay. Uh, I, uh, yeah. Okay. So here's if what I'm If they look I'm like they're in do. trouble, we'll go in. Okay. I might take a All nap. Right. Okay. I'm tired. Yeah. You okay. take a nap. Okay. I need Hermes. I need you to keep an eye out and make sure that we're dancing very good, that we're doing amazing work out there. So take notes. All right. Curly, you and me, let's go learn to dance. And I'd like to go into the bar and uh, obviously start, uh, the two of us should get down and get groovy on the dance floor. Um, Luckily, I have a couple of handy um, skills here. I think I'll, I'm going to use bending before breaking uh, in my dance moves so that I can... It's like some sweet pop and lock action happening over there. Flowy stuff. Yeah, that these legs are, these legs are everywhere, baby. Um, they are wrapping all around. So let's see how this pans out. 
Oh, all right. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Tight, 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 tight. Uh, yeah, and I think we had a four in the last roll, so you do have a plus one. Oh, this is mega good then. Oh no! It, you know what? I agree with Amanda on this. This is too good. Yeah, let's re-roll it. Don't agree. Do not like. It All was right, an one incredible of our roll. Here we go. And it must die. We've only got two Like left. our goblins. Goblins must die. Damn, that was better. <laughs> <laughs> no! Um, the dice just said, oh, no. we're, the, we're the luckiest goblins in the world. <laughs> I feel like the dice felt really bad about what they did to me the first go around. They were like, oh, that was I'm sorry hard. about that. that was I want bad. that. More of that. Well, sadly, this is not the time. I've rolled a seven, a six, and a five. A seven, a six, and a five. So that's four successes. So, yeah, I think we victoried this learning to dance. We learned to dance we, so we're, well. We're one, we're one victory it. short. Oh, well, the seven's two, the six is one, and the five is one. Yeah, but it's That's six. Four. We need four. six. Yeah, we need six. Then oh, we have great. Four. Okay, so we're not quite no, there we yet. we have four. And I only had... Thank God there. we didn't insta-kill this whole round. Um, <laughs> but while we're at it, let's just... Oh, let me mark these down. You guys, they really want these goblins to go to the ball. That's what it is. The dice are just wanting no. goblins to go to the ball. I haven't... Um, these these goblins are still way too alive. They're way too <laughs> alive. I want to see these goblins. All right, hold on. We'll I'll get back. To this. I'm excited about goblins. I'll show you later. Um, That's okay. okay. Well, we're 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 slowly ramping up the difficulty here. It's fine. So, Curly and Limpet kind of like work their way into the bar underfoot, and we're all kind of like getting down. And it's just like yeah, groovy. we're watching drug people dance. That's how we're learning to dance. And and the hobgoblins kind of have this sort of like stop making sense, like this is not my beautiful house kind of vibe. And and the orcs kind of have they're like like the hardcore kids. They're like out there like hundred percent the the b boys of the scene. But the bugbears, the oh. bugbears are out there like they're like they dance like prince. You know, it's all like pelvis and like flow, and they're like. Ooh. Damn, girl. Like, <laughs> everybody's on the bugbear's shit. And we're like, we got to dance like those bugbears. And so eyes on the bugbears, just like doing the moves and just uh, gyrating pelvises, chests. It's all in. And in the middle of it, I ca we kind of catch the like a couple of bugbears. Every once in a while, they break off. And they go towards this place with a flat wooden platform where there's wet stuff happening. <clears throat> and so, uh, so Curly and I clearly scamper up to the wet platform. And as glasses of wet stuff are happening, every once in a while, we just like steal some. There's like, and this as it turns gross. out it is disgusting <laughs> which is but great. we dance excellently and very bad <laughs> we are notably better dancers now and we don't give a shit about the cops <laughs> <laughs> and so we are getting down and we have really we've learned some moves we've learned how to like move across the floor we have learned how to become fearless dance machines <laughs> all right so i think the next step here is um hermes is watching from outside while gorkin is napping and sees how lovely the dancing is uh i believe we've resolved all the actions correct yes um and then kind of elbows gorkin awake and goes it looks uh, like they've got it we should probably go in so they can practice with all four of us like actually standing on top of each other. What am I supposed to do? You're going to be on the top. You have to make a very nice smile. You have to look pleasant and beautiful. Like that. Yes. All right. So we're going to go in there. And my action is we're actually going to try and dance as like a unit. <laughs> All of Much us harder. stacked on top of each other. So that's my action. I don't think I have anything that will be a decent bonus for this, which makes it even better. 
Uh, let's see. Mm, nope. Yeah, I think I'm just rolling two dice here. I don't think anything will save me. Uh, I don't believe there were any bonuses from the last round, correct? None. Cool. So, ho, 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 here we go. This might be the end of Seaman Hermes. How? <laughs> we do have rerolls. I'm going to use the reroll because I just rolled a five and a six. And, like, oh. <laughs> I'm going to use a reroll so that I can roll bad. Guys, I want to I want request all something night. from the chat here right now. <laughs> Please give us another $75 so we can kill these flipping goblins because they refuse to die. They refuse <laughs> to die. That being said, I just rolled a I'm... two and a three, so I will die and something bad will happen. <laughs> and we yeah. did not get a single success from that. So Great. Great. So, so how does it happen, though? So as we are attempting to dance, Hermes realizes that perhaps they don't have the strength to carry the weight of two goblins on their shoulders. And as the, you know, the, the groove gets funkier, their body just kind of, their shoulders kind of give this gruesome crack and they kind of like collapse from between the three of you and like fall to the ground, you know, broken. Oh, and, no. so, and so goes Seaman Hermes. Oh no. Life is on the floor. Ah, clean up and now too. I don't we, know why I said that. Uh, we need another <laughs> goblin, though, or we're not tall enough. Oh. We got it. And, the bad, and the bad thing that happens is that all of the dancing that has been happening in this bar has caused the bar to start shifting even <gasps> further off its foundation. And, like, it's on an incline. So you're, so this bar is about to start tumbling down a hill. Roll a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, oh, for oh, real, though. Okay. <laughs> Where's my D? I don't have a D20. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, that is the bad thing that's happening is there is a noticeable shift in the building as it starts to move. Oh no. Oh, okay, I can't oh no. I um oh, no. not the thing. Did yeah. I drink too much of the special drink? Um I can't tell if it's that Hermes! or just Okay. No, as uh as everybody starts to maybe fall into some kind of sinkhole, like we're not gonna be able to learn to dance if we can't get out of this like sinking building. Right. Hermes. No, no Hermes. Um who's that? Uh let's see. Who are you? Going to let uh, Amanda do her thing first and then I'll introduce. Uh, okay. Oh, uh you can go ahead. Uh another a goblin, you know, <laughs> wrenches the the scepter from their their fallen comrade's hand. Mm -hmm. But like they have like these tears just, you know, coming down their face. Uh they have a burn scar. Uh, across the side Ooh. of their face, so their their birth was a bit gnarly. Uh, it, it looks like, um, but they're like, "I am Seaman Ares, and I will avenge you." <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't ready. I forgot. <laughs> um. Okay, so uh, I I can't believe. Okay, I can't believe I'm gonna do this right now, but I'm gonna do it. Um, so, uh, Gorkin is going to try to, um, get you all together, um, and there's a, a window that as it's tilting is still up top, and he's gonna try and, like, somehow, well, they're going to, they're going to actually fart noodles. <gasps> um. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, that is what, they're gonna fart noodles. That they can then that are that they can then like expertly lash and braid together to make a fart noodle rope. Um, that then they are going to attempt to throw out the window. I guess or grab. There's a window like oh, save us all. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like I have. There's to make probably a like a tree or something. A yeah, tree like that lands a branch, tree branch yeah. or something. It can be a grappling hook. It's whatever. It I'm loving this. And um. <laughs> And, okay, and is going to yeah attempt to do that and and have you all like lash yourselves in and we're gonna go climbing up it because of my extra fingies. 
Yeah. Um, so I'm going to roll away. <laughs> I'm going to roll four dice then. Uh, I think it's so delightful. Something else that like makes sense. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, incredibly lucky hat, but that's just kind of applicable everywhere. So I'm just going to leave that and I'm going to roll. <laughs> I'm going to roll these four. Uh, and there was a three last time, wasn't there? There was. So everything so a, a negative four. one. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Let ah, No, come back. Where did you oh. If you fart yourself to death by <laughs> shooting noodles out of your ass, this game will have been a resounding success. I just I just feel the need to say right very here. quickly for the two other people in this room who are going to understand the joke. Skeet up, butt up. <laughs> <laughs> have you checked? Have I checked my butthole? Yes, I have. Eat up, eat up. Have you checked your butthole? Um, all right. So if you don't know what that is, ask me to talk. Yes. It's well worth your time. Uh, so with the, with a negative one, it is two fives, a one and a zero. <laughs> oh, damn. I don't know what a zero does. A zero is two points of damage. It's so like an like, anti seven. So that's three points of damage if we're talking about like carrying. Oh, yes. fuck this! I think okay. that means that two of like two damage, two yep. goblin style yep. it was yep. one spawns yep. just to die. Um, so <laughs> poor, poor You're just Gorgon, sending me right now. Poor Gorgon is just so exhausted <laughs> from the number of noodles that they had to part. <laughs> Um, in order to give everybody a chance to escape this sinking building. So with one last, just pathetic little toot, <laughs> they just... <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it's like, and then they just... <laughs> You broke us. You broke us. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. I um um I I I, I expire I expire in a very classy fashion. Um but and, and then you you see us another goblin. You see another goblin show up and they are they look very angry. Their defining features, they are very angry and they like stomp over. Their name is Flib. Flib, fart noodle flib. <laughs> and and as you as you all are climbing, they they're running and they're a little slow. So they they make one last, like they're trying to make that running attempt, that very dramatic running attempt to like grab onto the bottom of the noodle of the noodle braid. And and they manage to grab just the very edge of it but they can't they can't quite get that last finger on and they they fall oh. and then you just hear a like fucking sound a fucking sound which means that they have been sucked into the sinkhole that is currently eating the rest of this building but which you two which you three do escape from yeah. Because we also complete learning how to dance. We, we learned to, learn to dance. Learn how to dance. <laughs> we I don't know how we our, completed learning how to we, dance from that. We oh, I have to say for our lives. Oh yeah, if you dance did. for your life, as you dance for your life, and so yeah, you meet Flib for like you know three seconds. He's very angry, and then he died. Anger um, isn't a healthy emotion. Anger and as you pull yourselves out and and back into like, you know, the world of grass and trees and fairies and stuff um somebody else like is you just see a goblin hopping toward you they don't walk they just hop they hop 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 everywhere hello hi hi, hi everyone oh, hi. hi hi my name is my name is eek oh. <laughs> dude <laughs> I wrote it down. That is my name. It's Eek. This has Are been you? a real roller coaster. Yeah, my name. My name. Yeah, it's my name. It's pretty fun, huh? Oh, yeah. Eek. 
I'm 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 Seaman Aries. Hi, hi, Seaman Aries. Um, wow. I okay. What are we doing? Well, we just learned how to dance. Oh yeah, Flip didn't have a chance to tell me much before his accident, but um, and it's okay. And now it's we must get ready to travel face. to the ball. Oh, we have to get there, huh? Oh, that's interesting. Um. I don't suppose you know where we could find some really nice transportation. Very fancy. What's a transportation? Is that food? Ah, uh, it's a word that came into my head. I don't know how or why. It's a big one. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. It's what not too far these? off from transformation. Transformation. <gasps> transformation. <gasps> oh, maybe they maybe they need something similar. Oh. Oh, but you know what? Like, why are all these big words? Like, I feel like small words could be just as good. Like, you know what we so should good? get before the transportation is a ride to the ball. <gasps> You're right. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, a I ride. Oh, one. like like on a like on a like on a boar or or um um I I rode a really big chicken once. Was it enchanted? Um, I don't think so. I feel like it would have run faster and, you know, died later. From I feel like it has to be fancy. Maybe it's a, a ball. I mean, no, that no, bugbear was pretty fancy. Maybe the bugbear uh, will give us a <gasps> ride. No. Oh, you know what? You know what? I remember this thing. I don't know how, but but um, someone turned some pumpkins into a big fancy thing. Wheelie thing. <gasps> Ooh, oh, let's see if find a pumpkin. Oh, I have an idea. <gasps> I'm so mad. Oh, tell yes. me, tell me, tell yes. me, tell me, tell me. Yes. So we can get the pumpkin and put some fire behind it so the pumpkin moves really fast to the ball. But it's not supposed to be a pumpkin. It's supposed but, to be. But like we put something on it so it can move. Oh. I like this idea. My God. Oh. Uh, Are you suggesting we need magic? No! Uh, it's like, I remember earlier when I saw this orc and his butt got lit on fire <gasps> and he moved so fast. It oh. was insane. Oh, but how, let's do that. And then and then we can tell him that where we need to go. I wonder... Oh, this is probably a bad idea. We could ask the wizard for help. Why would he? Do you think he would help us? Yeah, does he want know. goblins at the king, the king or queen's ball? We don't have to tell, tell him, him where, where we're going. We're going. Aha! Oh, oh, we should tell him. We should tell him that we're. Um, I don't know. Um, that we're going to um, get potatoes for the war. Yeah. That Wait, potatoes. 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 Potatoes because um because it's potato day. I at the at the at the at the farm. Um, um with the with the potatoes. Okay. I think I have a nice <laughs> I'm gonna awesome I'm idea. gonna I'm gonna use my turn here and I'm gonna Is it just try me? And... I'm the only one that's used my turn so far in this round, right? I think I so we far. started over. Yeah, I, I was you going so? to, to okay. try to do something, but then I was yep, like, yep, no. yep. Oh, okay. Would you no, like no, 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 I was just going to put, no, I can wait. I'm, I'm uh, putting fire on whatever we do. So that's, that's, <laughs> like, it's that simple. That's the um, fanciest transportation. Transportation that's on fire? Hell yeah. Fucking show up in a goddamn rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> that said, um, I, I do believe this might be the last action of the evening, though. So that's fair. better make it Oh, go. okay. We're coming up on about that time. Uh, listen, everybody, it's about that time. Um, I am going to try and find the vomiting wizard from earlier. And as someone, Limpet now at this point is very burnt and bubbly, but it should be noted that at all times, all pliable clutch members are still wildly smooth. So it is a disgust disgusting looking thing to see all these bubbles that are also smooth like imagine like what a perfect time for I know, Max right? to, to flip out I know. I know right 
<laughs> we, we got. Did it end at a mansion? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Great. That's all I had to say. Imagine the worst thing you can. Um, okay. So I'm going to go up to the, up to the wizard. I'm going to try and find this wizard and, um, and convince him that I am, uh, what do we need to find potatoes? Yeah, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> oh, I think we were lying to the no, wizard we were gonna about tell potatoes. Him we, yeah, we were going to tell him that we needed transportation to go get potatoes for the war. <laughs> right, right, true. Okay, so I'm going to convince him that I am some kind of potato hybrid, and I need to return to my potato people in order to bring them to the war as a lumpy, smooth object. I, I wish I could assist you. I wish I could assist you with because I have disguise. What? But... I don't know nope. that I. It's I, just I, what I look like. I look like a fried potato. You're doing yeah. it now. Uh, <laughs> yep, I'm a potato man. It's I'm going to use my eerie lack of wrinkles uh, uh, as <laughs> as a skill, and uh, let's see how this goes. So ridiculous. Okay, this is pretty wild. Are there any modifiers from the previous rolls? Uh, uh, no. Great. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. Then uh, I have a two, a three, and a five. So we have one victory, one damage, which will kill poor Limpet, uh, <gasps> and one uh, bad thing has happened. And a negative one to the next roll. Yeah. So Limpet kind of wa uh, is like searching around and looking for the most vomiting thing he can find, which he would assume would be the wizard, um, and finds outside of since we're in the kind of bar area a number of vomiting orcs not really knowing the difference between wizard and orc limpet walks up and is like excuse me but i am a potato <laughs> and i have be i am here on a field trip and have lost my po teacher and my po classmates. <laughs> you almost got there. No, no, no. It's po class tates. <laughs> po -class Thank you. <laughs> my po class tates. Can you provide me with some kind of po transportation <laughs> that could return me to my po people? You speak strangely. Uh, poke. I do not believe I have ever met a potato person. Well, I've never met a wizard. I'm from... Wizard? I'm no wizard. Be gone with you. <laughs> oh, no. And <laughs> the orc hits Limpet so hard in the face that Limpet basically implodes. His head goes into his body as someone who bends before he breaks... <laughs> Everything is accommodating the head. <laughs> X card on that. Okay, we're moving on. You're, you're... Um, yeah, so it's just a pair of legs with a kind of face-shaped imprint in the butt. Um, <laughs> and, but what has, what two things have been learned. Uh, one is that the orcs are now very wary of goblins pretending to be potatoes. Um, so be wary of them, but, uh, <laughs> we also two, are not the two is that as Limpet is launched across, uh, the town square, Thank you Ooh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all so much for this love that as yeah. Limpet is smacked and, Im and turned into a pancake and launched across the town square, um, their body lands in a, in a um in a pumpkin patch nice uh and so excellent excellent as There's... the rest of the goblins uh, oh, no. okay, hold on a second beautiful Max. Max. 
You lost you me. You said again. as the rest of the goblins as watch the beautiful smooshy firework fly across the sky. They follow its trajectory to a pumpkin patch. Hey Max. Awesome. Uh, hey Max. Hi. Did did he have squish damage? Limpet squish damage was unbelievably high. <laughs> Off the charts, squishy. Squish Yay. damage very high. But we now um, have one victory on stage three. Yay. Yes, we do. And, and we've as got Aki or, Ra- or Randy, right? Yeah. Aki so we Randy. have Aki and, and Randy, and then we also have a negative one on whoever's next turn is when we start next. I'm time. sorry, Max. I thought I didn't realize you weren't done. I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. What you got to say, Max? Anything? Oh, uh, as you're all watching, up kind of casually walks a goblin who has just their entire face is basically just one giant eyeball. Oh, something went went wrong. Hi. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It. it looks to me like something went right. Oh, it's, that could also be true. Yeah. It's yeah. because my fingernails grow too fast. No, because of the giant eye in your face. Yeah. Put giant eye in my face. <laughs> Call it. <laughs> uh, but yes. Um, cool. it's a That's great. Okay. Hi. Pumpkin patch. What's your name? Oh. What's your name? Oh, yeah, what's your name? Scrum the Pliable. Scrum the Pliable. Oh, that's a good name. I think that's a good name. It's so nice to meet you all. Oh, you too. Do you wanna? Do you wanna help us turn these pumpkins into into like a, a carriagey thing? There's literally nothing I could imagine that would be more fun than this. <gasps> yeah. How, how, how does it talk? Can I just add? Oh, <laughs> how do they talk? Do it's just eyes... probably a vibrating in the throat that is like loud enough and hard enough that you can sort of hear it. It's so gross. I love it. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's wonderful. <laughs> All right. So uh, when we come back next week, we will be completing our goblin quest. Uh, we will be, we will, we need to make a note of the fact that I, uh, Randy and I both have outstanding actions that need to be taken before we can restart. And we have uh, one re-roll goblin. left. That's Randy's. Yes, we have one reroll left. Oh wow! Um, which means <laughs> next week you could potentially unlock more rerolls for us. Just saying, so you know, get get them donations ready for next week because we'll have another seventy five dollar unlock for you guys to hit. Maybe maybe we'll maybe we'll up the stakes a little bit next week. So just you know, keep that. Oh yeah. yeah! All maybe, right. Maybe we'll make it a little bit more challenging. But um, we have one success on our on stage three. So we need to get three more in order to complete stage three, I believe is the correct. Mm. So uh, that is that is all they wrote on this week's episode of Goblin Quest for All Games and Masters. Achieved. Uh, yes, we have achieved much and seen so much ridiculous as well. Um, so uh, before we go, uh, let's see if we have any outstanding things that need announcing of any kind. Um, yes, next, uh, tomorrow, Thursday at 1 p.m. PT, 4 p.m. ET, Dom will be playing Dark Alliance, the new D&D co-op video game with some wonderful folks, I believe, is the Ooh. update. So if you want to catch some Dark Alliance, you should definitely check that out tomorrow. Um, I'm sure that all of the people that are coming to hang out are awesome, and I love them, and I think you all will, too. And with that, let's go around the horn, see what everybody's up to. Let's start with Amanda. Who are you? Where can people find you? What do you do? Hi. Um, again, I am Amanda, and I am mostly on Twitter, uh, at Geek Powers. Uh, when I have something uh, visual to show off, I am also on Instagram at I Have Geek Powers. And you should also just check Amanda out for like all the best commentary on baseball, especially Dodgers games. Baseball, baseball. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's 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 it. That's all she wrote. That's the thing. <laughs> Randy, where can people find you? What are you up to? Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Randy Alvarenga. You can find me at Roller Raja. That's R O L L E R R A J A. I've been practicing uh, <laughs> uh, on Twitter and. Uh, or at RAJA012 on the Instagram. Uh, I also do some other uh, live, actual play live streams. And 
got a really cool one coming up and there's going to be cast pictures coming soon so what is it? Austin, about, yeah so. tell us about tell us, tell us yeah, about we're it playing, well we don't have the date yet or i i we i know but i can't say yet but it's coming soon but we have all of our which characters are going to be announced on our twitters uh we're going to be playing in savage world so if you are a wild cards fan check that out uh we'd also like really love it thanks max who are you where can people find you what you do Hey, I'm Max Isaacson. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Brosis Movies. That's like brother sister movies. Um, and uh, you know, you catch me here every week as as we move our way through this masterless domain. Um, I have a quick request just before we wrap this all up because I feel like there's one thing we've really been missing here during this game. What is that? Um, we haven't seen all the doodles of our goblins. And I know that I jamming them up against our our cameras right now probably is an in elegant manner of doing it. So can I make a request that we all snap pics of our gabos that have yeah. not yet appeared, our 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 current or dead gabos, and put them on the tweets? I'm way ahead of you, Max. Oh, you thanks. I'm bad at you. being on the internet. <laughs> I, I have only done a, a version of this that's digital, so I'm going to have to print out one and actually draw some of these for y'all so you can see what they look like. Uh, so I have an art project that I must complete before next week. No problem. Um, but yeah, I think that's perfectly uh, a perfectly good thing for us to do is show people what our gobos look like. Thank you. Um, I am Aki. And you can find me on the socials as Mixed Genie in a Bottle. That's M-X-G-I-N-I-I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E. And my entire schedule is on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. That's S-H-I-D-A-R-E-A-K-I. Um, what's coming up for me next? On Saturday at 11.30 a.m. over on Q Times, you can catch the premiere of Colonial Marines, the alien RPG uh, that is being run by Matthew from Freely Press. Um, it is a three-part series. It was pre-recorded, but you'll probably see a few of us in chat. Um, and uh, yeah, come, come see me play a very cool synthetic. I'm very excited. Um, and uh, yeah, and then of course, you know, New Pantheon is back this, this Sunday. Uh, that'll be happening at 4 p.m. PT. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to get the crew back together and see what ridiculous God stuff we have to deal with. Um, always ridiculous God stuff to deal with. And it's always really fun. So yes. Uh, and then, sorry, I skipped Friday. But Friday, we'll be back with some more Desperate Gamble Star Wars RPG over on Distracted Elves uh, Twitch channel as well at 1 p.m. PT. Um, thank you so much to everybody who joined us in chat. Thank you for all of the raids, all the resubs, all the gifted subs, all of the donations. Thank you to Dom, our producer, without whom we could do Dom, 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 Dom is Dom, the Dom, best. Dom, Dom. Um, so make sure to give your love to Dom in chat as well. Um, but yes, every single one of you is the reason we continue to do this and we appreciate your support so much. And we are so excited to do more goblin ridiculousness next week. All right. Um, until then, remember, you do not need a game master to play games. You just need a game, your friends, your imagination, and a little bit of time to have a great adventure. Until next week, everybody, goodbye. Thank you.